Hi, thanks for tuning in. My name's Todd, and this is SideQuest Live. Today we're going to be playing some Dungeons & Dragons. This is Campaign 4, Episode 4 of our Morally Ambiguous, Ambiguously Moral Duel Campaign. So this version is the Ambiguously Moral Group. That's the slightly nicer, gooder group. Anyway, it'll become apparent. Thanks very much for listening. Hope you enjoy the show. All right, so we're going to give this a shot. Hi, everybody. Uh, I don't even know where the mic is. Oh, there it is. This is weird for me. Uh, I'm going to have to project. Shot. So we're back. You got quieter when you did that. I did. We're in Spirit House. <laughs> Spirit House. Uh, they're kindly like, yeah, I'm going to stop the dungeon for it a second. It is very loud dungeon right That's now. That's some crazy loud dungeon. That's like Bilbo dropping rocks down a thing. <laughs> or Frodo. One of them. Pippin. I don't know. I think it was One of them. Pippin, stop it. All right, so uh, we're at right, Spiel House, a lovely place uh, up in the St. Clair. You should definitely come on down and check it out. Hey, we got a camera going, just because I had it. Yeah. And uh, we're going to play some oh, Dungeons & Dragons. I can't even say it without doing it that way now. This is how much. Anyway. I uh, noticed that. I don't like it. <laughs> I know. It's, that's, that's, it's, my, that's my critical feedback. It's in feedback. my head, though. Yeah, I hear you, though. Critical feedback would be a very good game, uh, like, it, group name. It's thing. like... Isn't that actually the name of something? It probably Critical is. feedback? Yeah. I think I stole that from something on accident. Yes, it is the discussion podcast by Poison. All right, hey. I think so. I think that's right. Shout out! So we are going to play some D&D, &D and uh, we're going to see how the audio works out uh, here at the Busy Cafe. But you know what? It's always better to play with friends. Uh, so let's go around the table real fast. Bella! And you want us to introduce who we're playing? Sure, because okay. today we're playing the ambiguously moral yes. campaign. The yes. Prison yes. break. Prison group. break. Uh, so that uh, today I will be playing uh, Rochelle Tajan. Uh, she's a lovely, lovely lady, uh, Calistar, and she is a Tempest cleric. So look for some uh, devastating. You know, we just gotta get you outdoors. Yeah, and no, in a war. Well, <laughs> not a, the, the so, thunder and the lightning. Yes, however, she does have some beautiful uh, power when it comes that she can create indoors. Absolutely. So don't worry. We are currently in a cave. Still. We are talking to an oji oji. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe we don't maybe. know what's we'll gonna see. happen yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, Darcy of, wants a pet. I do. Of Darcy. I, I, either way, I win. I either get a pet or I get to chastise Gordon. It'll be great. Um, <laughs> Who's over here, by the way? Uh, so I'm Darcy. Gordon hasn't spoke yet. I'm just eating a sandwich. It looks delicious. Um, you can find my links at twitch.tv slash DarcyBits if you care about that stuff. It's got mostly art. Um, oh, and the uh, time lapse stuff. I love that last game. We're going to keep doing that if you don't mind. I Anything would love to. I mean, if, if, uh, if it's got good scenes, that'll make. It was fun. I did a lot of background a lot stuff, of like, like landscapes and stuff. And I was like, ooh, pretty landscapes. Anyway, um, playing Hen. Hen is a. She identifies as a paladin, but is mostly mechanically a bard. That's about it. <laughs> okay, let's toss it over to Jordan. I'm Jordan, and uh, I am playing a Hope of Vengeance paladin. Uh, he was originally from a different campaign that ended, and uh, he's come over and joined this campaign, and he's part of the prison break. Yeah, and you guys all met on a prison break? Do you have a, 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 a bevy of co-prisoners, newly released? Uh, uh, maybe I, I mean we left them. We, food, we, we left them in the hall, like that's true. A while back, so they might just, we might show back up and they're all dead. That'd be great. Yeah, Where's you, my plot point? <laughs> I'm plot not spending points. it on that though. <laughs> oh yes, thank you for reminding plot me. Plot points. Uh, I do like to run. You uh, spent a plot point. I do. I do like to run a special uh, mechanic. This is ported in oh, from yeah. my Shadowrun. It's originally from Shadowrun Anarchy, uh, where all the players get two plot points. Where they can basically become the GM for a minute or two. So I'm gonna pass these out as we go. Thanks. And uh, if use it, them wisely, peeps. Somebody gets blue. We really don't use them wisely because we always end the session with two. Yep. Yeah, I know. We get one. Oh, you used one already. I was. So Thank you. Uh, oh, so they don't recharge. <laughs> <laughs> and a long rest. Yeah, long rest. 
plot point. You can only be god twice before you take a nap. Totally like two procession or long rest, whichever happens second or something like that. <laughs> or when the DM's like, mm. uh, basically, you got a good idea. And when we're back to doing live streams, you are encouraged as an audience member. Y'all can get plot points. See the doobly doo for how you do. Yeah, uh, or just put you know comment on Instagram images, and I'm sure Todd will work it in. It's true. <laughs> we uh, we had a guest last time, so shout out to uh, Nubasaur, Nubasaur for subbing, and we worked him into game. That was fun. Uh, all right, so let's dive in, shall we? I think we can. So as you may recall, you are in the middle of a. Stinky dungeon, a waterfall, kind of entering here with a large lake and a pillar kind of stretching out of it. Very thin ledge wrapping around the side. The water is dark and not stagnant, but you can tell that it is dark and it is deep. If anything reaches in or out, it makes a farting sound. That's absolutely true. That's how viscous it is. Yes, exactly. Were we doing that last time? We were. The <laughs> The, uh, yeah. the sound effects kept yeah. chiming in with that. I don't currently have that on, although the bells yeah. are reminding us. Well, we, we, we've disturbed the water enough that that, that, that yeah. viscous layer has been broken yeah, already, exactly. so it's fine. Yeah. So the um, so <laughs> the odioic, odioc, odioc. I don't know. I, I, I read a little bit about pronunciations afterwards and then immediately forgot it all and went back to how I normally pronounce it. Odioc. <laughs> the odioc is near here, and um, uh, don't forget to grab a mini if you get the chance, and the nasty stench emanating audio is currently being, um, the tent did you, you were holding the tent, one of its tentacles. Yeah, yeah, it, it grabbed me, and I counter grappled it, grappled it back to be like, no, stay here, let's have a conversation, um, and, and I've since cast tongues on it so that... Uh, it has to have a conversation with me. And I believe it directly said, What is happening? And then you got some lore dump from another. You got some lore dump. It asked me where I was puked, which I haven't responded to yet because my turn hasn't come back, but I plan to. Um, uh, I don't have an Odiook, but I do have a crocodile, so that's going to do for today. Well, some so. Yodiook is basically just a massive cord. Because <laughs> all we saw was the tentacle. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> well, it's, it's, its head is bulging up just a little bit from the surface of the water. Well, it sees through the tentacle on its back, so it doesn't even need its head above the water. It's true. It's true. It also breathes through that tentacle. Oh, yeah, it's a very well designed uh, evolution. Yeah, they are, <laughs> they're good creatures to live in the depths and be your trash can. It's basically the trash monster in uh, New mm -hmm. Hope. Yeah, New Hope, exactly. Uh, which I can never remember the name of, but it's basically that. That's what we're I, I didn't New even Hope know it had it. Uh, I didn't even know that had a name. Yeah, Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. Just regular old fashioned Star Wars. Yeah, the actual monster. name. Trash Monk. Yeah, Trash Monk. Oh, that, yeah. the name that, of the that, creature. I don't know. I thought you meant the name of the I'm sure, episode. hey, oh, if yeah. you're watching this, you can message us what was the <laughs> name of the Trash Monster in, in A New Hope. Alright, so. Um, Got that bitch started. We are currently just paused battle, and this audio is busy talking to you all. Yeah. <laughs> The initiative had just rolled over, and it was about to be um, uh, our, our dear, our dear vengeance paladin's turn. Yeah. So uh, now you do hear it. You, you can hear it talking to you, and talking good? in particular to him. But you can all understand. It. And it's basically saying, "What would you have? Why are you here?" Uh -huh. He also injured it, right? It is injured, yeah. But it's pretty injured. It's, uh, it's a like little a, above the half. So, so I think to just make sure everything is still there, did I have a any of my... Um, you had some of the spiritual weapon. I did have the spiritual that, that weapon. That was the question. You had some of the weapon. I don't know where it is, but you it's know, it's right there. It's close enough to attack it. That's all that matters. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know how many rounds I've used it. So we've only had one round. Like, yeah, it's only. Oh, really it's been only been one, one round. We started the fight. Right. I'm like, that we're gonna have a conversation, thing. and then we spent like four minutes talking instead of actually fighting. Oh. We started the fight. I damaged it. You damaged it. He grappled it and started talking. All right. Yeah. So then we'll put her on nine. Okay. Okay. <coughs> 
All right. So with what it has, I can actually understand it. You can understand it. You can speak to it, and it can speak to you. The audio, anything the audio says is understood by anyone else around that can hear it, and anything that the audio hears, it understands. But I think we're still hearing its actual like language, and it actually hears our language. It just interprets it or something. It's weird. I I kind of picture it as being the TARDIS. Yeah. Right. There's... Universal translator type. Yeah. I, I always picture it like uh, closed captioning, not closed captioning, but the live translation where the, suddenly right, the real yeah. volume dips and then the, the English right, translation yeah, yeah. is a little bit louder. So you yeah. do still hear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, I understand. <laughs> Farting is a very important part of the nuance of the Zodiac. Do so. I recognize the, the type of creature? Like, do I have any sense of like. Um, you're oh, level seven yeah, now. Yeah, on a scale of so, on a scale yes. of one to you seven, would, you would know what this is. I, you spent time. I spent time. time. Yes, sir. So, so I, I know what it is. Yes, you you are aware of what it is. It looks something like that. Okay. So, but it can understand. It can. And it well, it's my turn. Possible. Awesome. All right. Aside. That is. Well, I will say. To you, I have sworn no revenge on you. Now you must die. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. You oh, you're gonna attack it with my it. die, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I guess you need two because it's the advantage. Let's go uh, for it. So, great weapon mastery. Of course. First attack. Uh, that would be uh, fifteen. Fifteen hits. For the record, I named him O.T. O.T. Oh, really? That's the original name I also came up with. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, man. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> first attack, 19 damage. <laughs> Second attack, we have weapons. Yeah, 18. Yep. Sure. Of course it is. Oh, uh, oh sweet. 22 damage? Yeah. Oh, it is looking so rough. You have two, two slashes, one up, the tentacle is just the hanging off by a thread on one of its, the tentacle you were grappling. Um, then you did a nice slash under the water, like, in through the water and gouged along the side. So, and then it is looking really rough. With my bonus action, the half, there's a clenched fist right at the end. Of your pull on your glaive? Of my glaive. Right. Albert, whatever. Um, I will strike your face. Alright. That's your bonus action. Great weapon. Mm hmm. Oh, 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 oh. oh okay. miss. It looks like a miss to me. It looks like a miss. <laughs> you slap the water. With a resounding splash. That would be my turn. Alright, <coughs> coming up next. I did not write the order. Ashton! Oh, I do have it. Uh, that was Ashton or Rochelle. Yeah, I thought I got relatively high for once. You did? Oh, okay. you know, like hey! Yeah. Um, let's see. <laughs> it's been a little while. Oh. Uh, well, I will, um... Oh, wait, I forgot. Mm-hmm. Odie rolled a one, so you guys... <laughs> oh, I just knew that they were after me, yeah. I don't know what they actually rolled. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, bonus action. Uh, spiritual weapon. Oh, little... Slaps the water. Yeah, that's a uh, nine. Not gonna do it. Sorry. Didn't think so. Okay, uh, so I'm then going to. Uh, even though I know Ken really, really, really wants, you know, to talk to this thing. Yeah, no, not happening. So I'm going to. I didn't have a bait on it. Okay. No, not yet. I'm gonna cast... 
first level guiding bolt. Nice. Oh, okay. You know, why not? Make your roll. Yeah, well. Let's light this up. <laughs> Talking to it. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Weapon based diplomacy. That is a thing, yes. Okay. That there, hits. That hits. That That's a 17, 17, 20, like oh, 31. Hits. Yep, hits. Make your roll. Uh, uh, 46. I think it is. At level. At the base model. Yeah, yeah. it's. Okay. That's one of those really strong ones that doesn't scale that well because D6s, but it's like really no, good in the game. Hit. Mm -hmm. Fireball. Yeah, you're right. People love Fireball. Fireball's great. Fireball is great. And that's Yeah. It's just a, a shit ton. Size, of I was uh, that one's cocked, so I'm, I'm, I'm re-rolling her. I wish I had that thing you have where I can re-roll ones faster. Uh, right. 9, 10, 12. Plus nothing. Radium. And that's... Uh, I'm going to just kind of step back here a the wee. The uh, leaves you and your symbol uh, with your outstretched hand. What, uh, what does that look like? This one, my guiding bolt, I picture it to be kind of like a lightning bolt. Okay. Because of the Tempest right. domain. The lightning slams into the water and arcs yeah. underneath and just surrounds it. You definitely find an excellent purchase as the thing goes rigid and starts... The, the upper tentacle, the only thing above the water currently. Um, Sorry about that. That's okay. Just that there. Rather that than the other thing. Yeah. Um, so uh, it uh, arcs around the creature and the whole thing goes. And the last thing you hear, mostly a telepathically into your mind, was. Oh, gee. No. <laughs> you brought it to exactly zero. Okay. All right. The stag. Unless you want to hold on, the weight of the tentacle starts pulling on you. And you want to keep it up or let it drop? Uh, As the thing seeps. I mean, I'll let it surface. go, but I'll like watch it. I guess. Sure, it sloughs down into the depths, and you see the body just slowly retreat out of, out of sight as it drops down. It, it's at least 20, 30 feet deep. Don't worry, hen. Well done. It's a piece now. You did a great job of strapping. Great teamwork. What sort of a problem are you? A good engine? <laughs> a good one! So you go... Killing dogs and puppies now, are you? That wasn't a puppy. I know, I know. But. My friend. You killed a starving wolf? Depends. Right? There's starving wolves, but then there are things that. Juggling just born from evil. <laughs> Tell me, what do you know about Othiax? that they're pretty evil. They eat innocent people, little children. This one has eaten innocent people, likely little children. Anyone who died to this creature's hands, it was the tool, it was the weapon. Was the jailer sending people down to their death cell were the, that killed them. I think you're convoluting the idea of a creature as a weapon. I mean... It would kill regardless of where its location was, and indiscriminately. Say the same thing about a dog, about a wolf. I don't know about you. Um, Maybe that doesn't mean anything. That's a choice. You guys hear some rocks dislodge, slash, flash in a quiet. Somewhere off in this cave in the darkness. I'm gonna go look into that. Um, I can pull my my shirt sure. off quick. You're saying you you, yeah. you allow that? Um, okay. I'm gonna like crack my neck and pull off my chain shirt. I'm gonna have to take a look, and I'm gonna dive in. 
to the water. Okay. Uh, perception check, and I need you to do the direction that the yeah, noise sure. came from. You're still wearing a heavy canvas in underneath. Sure. So it's that's a, it's only a 13. So I rolled really that's badly. okay. That's it. And you didn't need a lot. It's just a canvas, but swimming in clothes. Yeah, sure. You're going slowly. Though. Sure, yeah. I will, uh... Oh, sorry, I'll that. Also take a look at what the noise is. Sure. Right. Go ahead and roll perception. I still have a light oh, going in my pocket or something, right? Uh, like, you near enough by that I can grab it on the yeah. way in. So, cool. Well, like, originally you had light on your shield, but it's easy enough to just... Well, I didn't have my... I haven't had my shield since I got, um, in prison. Oh, that's right. So, I've been using it since then. Yeah. Yeah. 17. 17. All right. Uh, what was your perception? Yeah, 11. <laughs> so 11, you don't perceive much, it's just darkness. You do catch a little bit of a ripple, but you're not sure if that was caused by him diving in or what. You look off this way and you have eggs. Wait, how's your dark vision? Not good. Not great. Oh, it's goodness. Um, okay, well you definitely pick up the it. ripples and you hear, a, you hear a very quiet muttering as this voice in the darkness of this um, you recognize it's it, 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 it's Nubasaur the, the roguish person who had accompanied you down and then pieced out as soon as the action started yeah um, and you hear him muttering under his like oh I need a drink and uh, it's coming from somewhere over here I'll call it sure Nubasaur it's okay we've defeated the evil creature yeah, yeah. Have you found a way out? I... Okay. Path ends and it's hard to climb. Okay, we'll see if we can help you. I would have left my shovel on the shore. Yeah, I'm not going to swim with that. Um, so you can walk along this little edge, but all the rest of this is actually a rock. Uh, and so as you can see, it's pretty much almost entirely a rock. With a central kind of island, you can just those with dark vision can make out in the distance. Uh, so almost an island slash stalagmite that's parapulking up and then joins with the stalagmite. Oh, that's a rope. That's one hundred percent a rope. Uh, <laughs> well, if it is, it's the biggest rope you've ever heard of. This thing is at least fifteen feet across, going up and tapering to only about two feet up, pretty high up, about thirty feet in the air. Um, to, to join no. the ceiling. No. I'm underwater. <laughs> I'm um, seeing any so of this. You're doing a per- I'm assuming you're kind of popping up and then going down. Uh, so, up. I mean, depending on how long I hold my breath, <laughs> which in this game I think is like basically forever. Yeah. Um, I'm swimming down to like get a close look at the corpse, basically. Um, I can't speak, so I'm not like actually giving a rights or anything. Right. But I'm going to like do some mundane gestures over it. Okay, so. Um, but also. I want to look around for treasure. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna since get... it's dead anyway. <laughs> you didn't get a great athletics check, so that's true. I did. As you go swimming down, just the buoyancy in your legs and not being able to like swim as effectively as you could, sure. um, you can just barely make out a little shape in the darkness. That's probably the audio that's very sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or at least snagged on something. You're a good 20 feet down, but the, the water continues at least in the ten feet. Okay, I want to pop up because I realize I should cast a spell before I do this. Sure, mm-hmm. so you come splashing up the surface. Yeah, I'm probably like wherever I am. Yeah, you're kind of... I guess it didn't go that far, down. so I'm just oh, like... No, you're just kind of... Yeah. But in your dive, you kind of came down. Yeah, and back. that works for me. We'll pop back up. Um, I don't know if this has material components, and I don't really want to play my game right now. <laughs> uh, bards, I often say, like, you can hum a song. Yeah, know. sure, but I mean, it's not material <laughs> no. Um It doesn't really matter. I, I'm going to cast Tech Magic, so I have that active. So I sure. Can, my theory is that, only is anything, most of what's going on is probably in its guts, which, actually, if I think about it, I could probably see through, but I'm not planning on slicing it open. But, the point is... That's the only thing that's going to survive, right? Like, if an Odeo eats through a bunch of metal or garbage or whatever, it's It's probably not... It's going to pass that. Yeah, well, it's going to survive the process because they're so durable. Yeah. Um, So, you want me to roll something? Yeah. Uh, I'd like you to roll an intelligence. Okay. Let's two or something. I'll double check after. I rolled a three on the die, so it probably doesn't matter. Dude, you need new dice. Oh, my dice are the best. Uh, I'm I'm Naive Hen. He's super strong and buff. So, in your perception check, uh, Bella, or Rochelle, 
you're at the base of this kind of trickle of a waterfall. It's, it's yeah. about a good foot across. Okay. And it's got kind of working its way down. This is slick rock leading up to about 10 feet up to a little cave opening of the, uh, that you came um, That's not going to be the easiest of climbs for the people you're with. Right. So I, I need to too, locate yeah. another means of... I mean, it's possible, but... Getting out. So I'm going to cross... As you recall, there was a split way back. Yeah, and we learned what was over there because the Yoya uh, lore dumped at us, and I don't remember how they said they came in. I interpreted what they're saying as like I checked that one out and it was bad, and then I checked this one out and it was good. Yeah. But I don't know how they actually got in in the first place, so maybe there is a different path that I completely forgot um, about. You do remember from it? It came from I thought somewhere it, okay, further. That is what I was thinking, late. but I thought oh, I might sorry. have misinterpreted. So the opening so. that it sometimes catches people near was at this way, okay. but the way it came in was actually crawling up through a whirlpool, which oh, okay. was part of a cave in the other room. Okay, I thought it like checked out that room and fell in the whirlpool and then had to come back out, not it came in through uh, the whirlpool. Did you whatever. pass the tech magic? Is that what you yeah. were saying? Yeah, I should probably mark up the spell slot, thank you. Underwater? No, I pop back up. Okay. Okay, so now I was gonna like, I was how'd you do that? I was see how well you do, and a perception check. Uh, yeah, let me just mark up a spell slot real quick. Did you say athletics and perception? Yes, I get to try again because I'm pulling back down from the top. Yep. Oh, Go isn't that great? Rolls. Uh, 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 this yeah. is a level one spell. Ashton, you're going further down to check out well, Nubasaur, or are you stand? Wait, that's you. Me. That's you. Okay. So, so I, now that I know that it's Skelly Man is. I am going to actually look for a means to help the others get back down. Okay. So, is there any rope? Anything that could be useful for us to ferry them down? Um, you're, you didn't fully well, gear up. Well, no. no. So I'm going to say That's you probably don't have a rope on you. You do, do have some clothes gold. that was in the, like, the guards were wearing. You probably, when you first designed the character, had that much money? Yeah. So it might not stretch the full. They're made for a Levi's game, I think. But if you yeah. got enough ropes uh, cl close together, yeah. they would get a little bit of assistance. Exactly. <laughs> As you remember, there was uh, a mother and a tiefling, a couple of older people. Uh, uh, the the oldest being that uh, the cleric of fellow. Uh, oh man, I should. Right. Time. Yeah. Thank you. Time. And then, uh, other, otherwise, everyone else is pretty able-bodied. Uh, there's the young, like. Yeah, I remember um, Rochelle specifically super. like assessed the situation. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, they're malnourished, but they're not like beaten or anything. No. And like, no. you know, we but, like healed who we yeah. needed yeah. to. Yeah. Are there yeah. any like binds or things like that? Oh, uh, go ahead and make a perception check. So my athletics was a twenty. Wow. Um, and go ahead. No, no, I'm, I'm, no, I know, I just... 22. 22 on your perception. All right. And my perception was a 12. Wait! Now, not great. You are looking not around... Not horrible. Better than that. At one point, yeah. with 22, you, you're looking around and you spot a discarded... Hey, someone had come through here, um, and then you spot a little bit dragged into the water, an old shirt with, like, a, a little bit of, like... Icker and remains of blood and odio to lunch. Um, you do a little bit more digging around and you find um, essentially one of the minor gear bags just kind of about maybe five feet below the surface of the water. I can we fish it out needed with that. Blade. You fish it out with the fist of your Isn't that convenient? Your and then you start mm. Now some of it is in a rough shape. I don't eat the food. I'm not eating um, there was a wine skin, depending on how tempted you are. Not um, <laughs> Speaking of food, mm -hmm. how are we doing? Where are we at? Like, uh, you when is the last time we ate? So you were in prison. You how were in prison, prison they only fed you once a day, but you have eaten within the last 24 hours. So you're hungry, but not starving. This may be a good opportunity to... Um, Make some food. So you go digging through, um, you find, you do find a bit of rope, it's 
some it's been in the water a long time. Some of it might be a little bit rotted. But you, 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 do, you check the end and the middle section. You, you can kind of salvage some of that to get about 20 feet away, which is probably good. Yeah. All right. Uh, other than that, there is a hammer and some pitons. Piton, pitons. I always say it differently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the remains of a climb get the harness is rotting away. But, um, <coughs> How many of us are there? And the bag like 14. is somewhat well, I guess so plus us, there's like one strap is broken, but the other one should hold a few more. I will still have to ration it out. It's good for 15 I'm folks. I'm going to take the rope and the hammer. Yeah. And I'll take the pickaxe too. Bring up that circle symbol back here. It looks like the pickaxe, um, the, just glancing at the handle, it hit something hard. Like it, it's probably swung in anger. And it's it's cracked. It you might get one or two good swings out of it, but it's probably not going to. I'm just going to like leave the stuff there. I'm going to take the rope. Yeah. And basically what I want to do is I want to use the pigeons to help basically have a rope. Do an anchor point. Anchor points up. Absolutely. So do an athletics check to climb back up. Um, and because of the water and the sludge of the of this area, I'm going to say it's with this event. Even if he's being helped? Because um, he's right here, right? And yeah. I would have seen him doing oh, this. Oh, you're going to give him assistance? I would okay, probably so hold were, him. So straight roll. Straight roll. You're like, don't grab that. That's slimy. <laughs> 21. All right, you make it. So Out of you, curiosity, what would a disadvantage look like? I'm always here. Oh, well. Yeah. So you managed to climb up the, the 10, 12 feet, uh, doing an anchor point every once in a while, to make, and especially at the top. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that you take a few minutes and you secure that. That should yeah. definitely assist those coming down. Hold on. All right, Ken, how was your perception and your athletics? My athletics was 20, Excellent. but my perception was only 12. Okay. I do have Detect Magic going. You do. And I'm specifically trying to hone in on if there's anything. So as you're swimming through, you're, you're actually like really quick with that, with the 20. You yeah, end up yeah, yeah, covering yeah. quite a bit of distance. I probably do do that thing where I go to the audience first, yeah. right? Because that was something I like kind of wasn't able to successfully right. do. So I go there, and I'm just like, lay a hand on this like greasy, slimy, like, still body. Warm. Yeah. And like, there's, I don't know, there's like a weird like, it's, you make a good point about the still warm. Like, there is something so visceral about just like, this is a warm body. Even Odeo, though, no matter what it is, it's weird. No I don't know. It may be. Living like an Odeo. Yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> I just see him like. <laughs> oh, it you is know, definitely. Rocking it out. It's definitely the dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see that. <laughs> How do a you slight, not kill that? A slightly less charming the dude. I'm just like deuces. No, okay. Um, okay. Uh, so I do that, and it's okay. all right. So you, um, you do. Not I'm underwater, so I'm not gonna say anything. Um, <laughs> so as you're down, so you ended up swimming back towards the base of the waterfall. Yeah. Uh, and it, it kind of levels off uh, about five feet below the surface there, sure. and then it dips back down where debris is washed up and cascaded back down. Below. Sure. So the body is pretty far down. You get down, you touch it, and uh, say goodbye. Yeah. Will it in your Mentally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's limited telepathy and put images in his head. At which point it fails its third death save. <laughs> Don't you do that to me. It's a mantra. It dies in one hit. <laughs> That's not a thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. I lay on hands with one. I know. I was going to say, you could totally do that. Um, so anyway, you bid it farewell, and as you turn your head, there's a very dim blue glow. Okay. Um, Somewhere this... It's like thing. under the waterfall type thing, not towards the island? It, no, it's actually... Uh, it's probably the... Well, I'm trying to use words to represent this map for our so audience. Where the waterfall um, hits, it levels off for 5 feet with all the debris that's going sure. down. Then it drops again another 20, 25 feet. Sure. Um, and from your vantage point of basically on top of the audio, which is at the bottom of that, right. you look left and you you can see the, the drop off. Right. And then there's a darker section right underneath where it's kind of hollowed out. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a tiny bit of a cave or recess. Oh, it's like where it like slept or something. Probably. Exactly. So it's kind of Always layered. go to the monster's lair. That's, it's layered that's up where the good stuff is. The, where the waterfall is, but not directly. 
Uh, I don't do like you looting do adventures that often enough. They're very fun. Uh, you see a dim <laughs> blue glow emanating from the darkness that would normally not be picked up on your head. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. Let's go. Let's do that. All right. Let's get stuck in a the hole. <laughs> All right. So I'll, I'll keep. You're still on that on that twenty. No, so you start to move us. into that. Are you going in or? Nah. nah. You're nah. going solo. Good luck. Uh, from from my bed. Remember my motto: there. Yeah. always put the Fall heart. Shell, is Hen still mourning the evil abomination? Uh, yeah, I think, yeah. At this point, okay, Nova Swords comes uh, I'm going back. to, I'm going to, okay, continue to keep watch. I'm going to fetch the others. I've fashioned a rope. I must say, you're a very good paladin. You guys can see the, the light. <laughs> your your single-minded opinion about things. <laughs> <laughs> me, me too. I in, it. Terms of, in terms of <laughs> mechanics? The Paladin Bros. My Ashton has gone through hell and back with yeah. all manner of evil things. Sure, yeah. yeah. No, I have room for nuance, but there are some things there's no nuance for me. Which is interesting because just to ah. clarify, Pen has never killed someone. I think what you are forgetting. <laughs> yeah. You're you're so focused on this evil Utia. It's not evil. <laughs> that we just read. Two spirits. Yeah, I know. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Last game. Yeah, that was an amazing. Game. That was an fun. absolute. I have no doubt in my mind. So that we if, are discriminant. If Ashton wasn't possessed, that ghost would have died. <laughs> that was you. That was all you, Rochelle. <laughs> well, this is how I, you I find your way to true neutral. Just saying. <laughs> Risk and it paid off. No, it was great. It was awesome. I love. I love the dynamic. I, I'm just. I'm just messing with so people. So underneath the water, because you're carrying a light spell, a light source. Yeah, water, I got that. Um, you probably one handed swim. Basically, well, I was gonna say you put, cast it on your pendant. Sure. Yeah, that makes um, sense. Your pillar symbol. Yeah. Uh, and so as as you can see underneath the water, it, the people watching can see basically where him is. Yeah. And then you see it dim, and then almost disappear as she wait, makes her way back. Up and under. Um, at I'm which point, Nubasaur comes mind. back, pads back, and says, Right, it can't seem to get out that way. They have a hard climb. I didn't really want to swing. I think that's a new voice, but deal with it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I like it. Uh, He's much sober now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drank some of, got some of the water in his mouth. I don't recommend it. Ew. Alright, well, we're yeah, gonna I'm slowly taking looking. poison damage every turn. It spits. <laughs> I'm gonna mind link. With oh, you and your damn telepathy. All right, yes. Sorry. No, it's good. It's good. Who are you mind linking with? Ashton. Okay. I think so. It's just at the top, looking around. Yeah, and I'm just gonna FYI him. Listen. Yeah. I don't know what she's doing, but I just saw her swimming under the water. She disappeared. Obviously, there's an underwater cavern she's going toward. Got to keep an eye on her. Okay. So you go to the edge. Keep watch, keep watch, and I will I fix will. the other. Okay, I will keep so watch. You, you go padding back. Meanwhile, underneath the water. Great. Um, it's a large creature. <laughs> so it's a fairly large time. Okay, it I thought you were saying, you see a large creature. Yeah. I was like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> You're dead. It had a mate. Okay. <laughs> and I'm Round two. for bubbles. Uh, I'm no just, bubbles? Nothing Like, I'm just you. looking to see if there's any... Nubasaur and you are both side by side looking over like, what are we looking at? <laughs> Look for, like, loss of air bubbles, maybe? Like, she's dead? Nubasaur clutches the or pickaxe. Or that there's a disturbance and she's being eaten right now by, you know, the creature's girlfriend or something. You know, I thought my day would get better when I left the prison. Alright, so you're underneath the water, and that creature that you just left behind you must have squeezed to the center. Sure. Yeah. It started at 10, about 10, right. 12 feet. It gets down to about 8 feet wide, which is plenty for you. Man, but you're just yeah. The sure. sides are slick with slime. Um, there is no air pocket down here sure. at yeah. this point. As you swim down, arch down, down, do another athletic check for me? Yeah, uh, give me like an idea about time stuff. Because I've been ignoring it, but I don't know. Nope. Do you want me to actually figure out how long I can hold my breath? Uh, I'm sure it's... If there is like, a rule, okay, there's a rule. It's, it's usually 
what is it? Con plus. Yeah, it's like your it's like your modifier your level? or something. Honestly. Yeah, and I'm sure uh, your con modifier is pretty good. It's not terrible, but it's not as good as you might think. It's only two. Okay. okay, so you've been down for about one minute. Okay. So after one more minute, you're gonna have to start making saves. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll okay that. Yeah. So you are. You feel like. Well, go ahead. How do you do on your athletics? Oh, you want me to get the second one? Yeah. Okay, or a third, I not guess, at this not point. Not everything is good. Uh, that is a 28. 28. 18 on the die, plus 10. That's plenty. So you, you power through, and you notice that the, the tunnel starts arcing in an upwards direction. Okay. Uh, Am I still seeing any signs of magic, or was I not even... Was I just completely just a, unrelated to the blue thing I was No, following? you definitely did okay. see something. And up ahead is a little blue glimmer. Okay. Just you don't catch it all the time. Uh, but sure, you yeah, just got ever so slight. Almost whenever like the some... like space between the wall isn't too thick to block it. <laughs> well, actually, it's more like something above is casting a light source down to the water. Okay, but there is actually no real light source. It's just a magical animation. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rock would block it. Free. So at this point, you you go another 20, 30 seconds. Sure. Um, just. Powering yeah, I mean, if we were in combat time, I'm moving, you know, yeah. 15 feet yeah, every no, 6 it's, seconds, it's, it's basically a oh, Absolutely. So, so predictable. after a little while, you come up, you think you see a little glimmer up ahead of silver blue light, holding the and then you realize it's the surface, and you come back up. <coughs> yeah, that. Yeah, good. You want me to do it? <laughs> I did it. <laughs> All right. Uh, do a con check. Oh, sure, yeah. A uh, con save. Uh, I'm gonna save? I might be. What do you think, uh, other paladin who knows what my saves are? It's, it's like charisma and willpower, isn't it? I don't think I get caught. Uh, yeah, okay. With some whatever. Uh, 17 plus 2 for Oh, 19. you're fine. The air Feeling here good. is breathable, uh -huh. but foul. Yeah, okay, good. <coughs> you, um, you've broken the surface. You Did that fart noise? Around. Oh, it's the whole thing it smells like the inside of an audio tower, which is why you're basically gagging, but yeah. you, you managed to be okay. Mm -hmm. um, you, you can look All around. Alright, let's see what you got. There's, yes. there's some shapes in the darkness. Uh, it looks like the water ends about 10 feet in front of you, mm -hmm. and then it's just a little pool, and then it opens up into about a 20, uh, maybe 30 foot cavern, kind of irregular shape. Oh, wow. Um, a another secondary cavern here. Uh, huh. And the whole place is just littered with refuse right. and bones and thick, thick algae and cool. just sludge. Algae, you say? I will cast Speak to Plants. That's not true. I don't have that spell. You, um, um, you do notice. But I was tempted. <laughs> one of the first things you notice is you are wow. maintaining your concentration. And it's still within the 10 minutes. Right, so you're detect magic. You're picking up a dull blue, like pale blue iridescent glow from one of the lumps over in the corner. Let's go look at Do you it. Have dark no, no, you don't. Here. Do you have a light source? I have a light source. Um, yeah. yeah. Alright, so the, the I have light source and I've got a, a spell going on. Um, yeah. The stone in here is mostly like covered in a thick Sure. But uh, it's very irregular, nothing hard. And uh, there are kind of outcroppings here and there, kind of irregular shape. Uh, and you look ahead and your light glints off of that looks like an old broken sword in the sludge. Yep. You see some coins scattered in amongst. Sure. Uh, you see. Uh, so some things are like still salvageable. Oh, possibly, I was expecting yeah. only magic stuff to survive. It's no, like no. diet. I mean, it's not. It's not acidic per se. I mean, it, it would digest sure. anything like even as much as leather. Right. But anything metal would probably come through the process very sludgy. Depends okay. on how old it is. Sure. If it's not magical, it's probably pretty corroded. Right. Really humid environment. You you can see it's super coated in sludge. Right. So any finding of things is going to be very hard work. Except right. of course. You've got detect magic, right. so you can see something glowing under. It, it's only partially exposed in the corner. And what is this for? Awesome, cool. Um, oh, and so I might also like sift around the room. Perception for me is only plus two. Hey, I got an eighteen. It's a twenty total. Boom. Um, 
But yeah, I'll, depending on like, if it seems feasible and it's not gonna take too much time, I'll like, maybe pick up some gold, because that'll be useful. Sure. Um, if there's like a shield, I might take that, because I'm lacking one. Um, it might fall apart the first time it gets hit, but hey, that's one less hit <laughs> to my face, right? Um, you know, until, yeah. So that kind of thing, yeah. Um, I'm not like specifically looking for like. Yeah. All right, big money, big money. Oh, yeah, give me something good. Random generator. You're not gonna get all of this, but no, yeah, a just portion of the it. Rest and then all right, so oh, I guess I should probably be ready. Sounds like you're gonna make me write things down. Um, in, well, do a perception check first, because it's like yeah, so too old, oh, boy. A natural twenty or? I got 30? an eighteen plus two. Okay. So you spend some time. You see some gemstones. Okay, um, grab those. Stones, I'll take them. Uh, you're not sure if it was part of the cave or not, but uh, the more noteworthy ones is you've got a chunk of amethyst worth about 100 gold on, on a glance. Nice. Uh, you see some coral also worth about, not coral, but coral, uh, worth about 100 gold. I feel um, like I don't know what that is now that you're saying it differently. How do I spell I'm that? Just it's still the same as coral. Weird. Okay. I'm just mispronouncing it just because. Okay. What'd you say about uh, it? You find uh, two bloodstones. Oh, it's worth 100 GP. Okay. Uh, two bloodstones in your quick cursory glance, each worth, if you had a street value, it would be about 50. Is that making you track this? Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm writing it down. Not yeah. because I think I'm amazing at uh, exactly. phrasing. Is it 50? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, let me do a quick percentile nicer. See how much of this you get. Cool. Well, that makes it nice easy. Alright, uh... As you're sifting through, you mm -hmm. find a scattering of various coins. Silver mostly, some gold. Sure. Uh, it's on a quick scoop, and yeah. you're gonna need to clean it. Yeah. Probably about 400 GP worth. But it, it makes to clean. Yeah, I, I can just like grab some gold and do that. Okay, so you, you end up digging out about 200 worth of the actual gold as you're just kind of sifting through. More no Yeah, I know that like most players would just write down 200 gold, but that doesn't like make any sense in my brain. So no, I'm not actually going to write gonna... down what the gem is. So. No, I already got the gem. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying I'm not going to like carry around 200 gold pieces because I don't have like a back. <laughs> you know, like this is not a normal D&D &D game. All right. Um, so I've got like 10. <laughs> okay. So Look around in amongst there. the we have a pack in amongst there. the pile of sludge, you also find uh, a sphere probably about yeah, the size of a large, like about this it's size. Polish, yeah. Um, uh, should I write this down or are you going to identify it? Uh, what do you do mean? Do an arcana check. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll write an arcana. See if you recognize it. What's that? Studies. Is that a two? That's a two. Yeah! I don't it's know small. anything about what this is. You write it down. Just, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Because <laughs> I'm going to be like, what's this thing when I identify it like four sessions from now? You're going to be like, I don't know what that is. Let's re-roll the loop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Tell me what it looks like. It's a, it's a, it's almost um, opalescent, uh, opalescent, I don't know. It's like a giant pearl. Opalescent. It's like a giant <laughs> pearl, but it is more see-through than that. And, and it, it sloshes ever so slightly. It, it's okay, but... It's kind of swirling ever so slightly. Inside. Give me like a two word thing to write down so that later when I say, What globe. is this? you know what I mean. Because otherwise, I'm going to say, globe. Right, because otherwise, I'm going to be like, What's the baseball pearl? And you're yeah. going to be like, I don't know what that is. So, pearl, pearl globe. globe. That's better. Uh, pearl Globe. As long as it's titled the same way in our notes so that you don't know it. No, don't. You also find. You know what I mean? Um, kind of scattered in amongst, and you would normally have just assumed it was wreckage. Mm -hmm. And because there's like bits of refuse and wood and all this stuff. There's a box. Ah, oh, sweet. But it's actually glowing. Oh, nice. I mean, I could use a you box know. anyway. Is it made so of metal or something? You pull out the box. It's, it's not like been eaten. It's a wooden box. It's about 12 inches long, yeah, 6 wood. inches wide, 6 inches deep. I need wood if I was going to be So, um, but the magic, it is clearly magical. Cool. Magic. Um, there are some runes inscribed on the bottom of it. Nice. Um, Oh, oh, can I do that actually? I'm gonna spend a plot point for something in here to be cursed. Oh, done. <laughs> I will take that. All right, I love it. I love it. Um, you also see a. Oh, I'm feeling like this <laughs> is Levi's game all over again, and we've got this. Look, if you don't stick your hand in every hole, how do you know when something would have bit it off? So you also find a morning star. 
Oh, okay, yeah, sure. That is also glowing magically. It's like cool when I leave it there. <laughs> uh, and you find... Oh, man. I think I do, uh, actually. Is that is that okay? Yeah, that's Are you guys going to be mad at me as a party if I leave this morning, sir? We don't know. Yeah, I know, but I mean, as players, like, we're playing a game together. I'm not trying to ruin your guys' fun, right? Well, you know that you find... we can use it. Yeah, I know, but I don't like you killing things. You find a, um... <laughs> then you don't actually care how we feel about it. You also That's find, a party! Uh, it, it's... Yeah. It's made of, like, so but reinforced with bands of Is this iron. the, is this the yeah. star still? No, this is another thing. It's a, a jug. Oh, sweet. I got a, like an alchemy jug or something. You just the jackpot. I did, apparently. Wow. Uh, um, there's so also, ceramic jug. I can make some water you, in it. As you step, you hear a clink and a as of glass breaking as well. Uh, I stepped on something? Yes, you did. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to look, but I only I expect it to be something that's broken. <laughs> uh, I did pick up the Morning Star. How long has he been gone? I felt bad. Uh, now it's been about, uh, he's been digging through gold and stuff. You're approaching 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, so I will pick up the Morning Star. I can barely sell sure. it. Yeah. I'm going to... Um, you look where the glass is broken, and there are three vials. One okay. of them is now shattered and leaking. Oh, ground. okay. Uh, um, like, potions. I'm gonna you know, I'm going to leave them. I feel like I don't want to drink a potion in here. No offense to the audio. They're, they're still cool, uh, other than I, the one that's broken. You know. They look like they were know. once part of like a... a oh, this is like couch. in the chest, isn't it? Uh, no, it wasn't. They stepped no, on. This so is, you be. stepped on. Okay. Uh, so it was in the pile. It was, Wait, so... Was it a belt loop of something? You find a belt? That with box, like, by the way. I guess I didn't pouch. ask at the time. It was a magic box. Was it like... Did you tell me stuff that was in it, or did I not open it because it was like locked or something? Um, it, right now it's just actually almost a solid oh, piece of wood. It's okay. like weird, I don't know how but I it is glowing. So there's a, a rune on it if you want. Okay, there's not like a like a. Well, with, a, with that arcana check, you don't have. It. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I, I just wanted to make sure I didn't like skip over something. Uh, great. So ceramic jug with bands. I don't know exactly what you said. So there are there was a pouch that used to contain three potions, and now only two. Yeah, I'm gonna leave those. Okay. I'm gonna mind link him and be like, hey, <coughs> he's been gone for over 10 minutes. Yeah, you guys should under do a scene, the right? water. Um, do I go after him? He's actually out just of range. Again, like, is he? Yeah, the he man? is a lady, he just went, to be reiterated. So I don't say it that So you're long. standing in the dark with Nubasaur. Nubasaur's like, right. Um, oh, if right, it's only 60 feet. Mm. Then uh, I think. We should split. Huh? The others are probably dead. And we all all recapture. I've got places to be. Why don't we make good our escape? This is and I just Can you make a persuasion check? Go right back. Boom! I just Do it. lock your, his ass. I hope. <laughs> Damn dice. I mean, he is you never very know. agile. He's extremely He's got agile. like a 20 dex or something. No, not quite that. There's a lot of explicatives happening right As now. As you roll a five? Yeah. Uh, I do not think that uh, that man armed attack is... Uh, Can he dodge and then, like, dip you? <laughs> That's 11. <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of armor on. I'm hitting his face. I mean... Eleven? Uh, eleven. He's very dexy. Very dexy. Sorry. Oh yeah, just sidestep, dip you. Uh, he gets out of the way and, uh, let's do this real quick, right? There we go. Awesome. And I'll just basically look at him and be like, we're going nowhere. Intimidation. Uh, okay. <laughs> and I have advantage on those. Yes, you do. Did anything weird happen with your Kalashar? Your Kalashariness is just something you're good at? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's not like the I spirit am, manifest behind your eyes no, or anything? No, I just kind of, I, I just have this, I, I guess I like furrow my eyebrows the yeah, right yeah. way that I just look like I'm yeah. a, a bitch. <laughs> Great. And uh, All right, that's a... <laughs> 16 and a 12, so I'll go with the 16. Alright, he's going to roll his wisdom to... Uh, That's a 18. Not good enough. So he's like, alright, oh, alright, it's just a thought, alright? You don't have to get all upset. 
Uh, just a quick recap. He is uh, approaching middle age. Right. Human. Yeah. Definitely a rogue of some kind. Yeah. Right. Uh, he's been in prison a while. Uh, kind of stringy hair. Kind of rat-like appearance. Sorry, Noob. <laughs> Sorry, Noobasaur. We love you for subscribing. Thanks so much. But this is the character <laughs> that you are lovingly named after. Um, so yeah, he's like, all right, all right, no problem. All right, we'll wait. We'll wait till we get captured. Uh, <laughs> do I get after him or not? Or her or not? I am going to... That more takes off. I'm going to take off the chain shirt. Yep. Um, and I'm going to just kind of dip my toe into the water. It Do you need line of sight for your telepathy stuff? Creepily. You don't need line of sight, but stone tends to block these Okay, cool, yeah. Because, like, I'm under, so I might be within 60 feet. Probably am, honestly. You're uh, probably on the edge I just thought I'd ask. I figured yeah. you needed line of sight anyway. That's true. I'm going to try. You could try. I will try. So the water is oddly warm. Nearer the waterfall where you are, it's you can feel the cool trickle and then it gets warmer. Maybe he's and there's taking a leap in there. <laughs> All right, I am gonna get in the water right. up to my five feet is no problem. So I'm not entirely sure what the timeline is here, but I would love to see what's going on with her. Absolutely. Yeah. Come back. And I will I um, try to find yeah, sure my like him. Blah, blah, blah. Um, definitely knowing full well that Ashton can't hear me. I'm going to say, unfortunately, due to the curvature of the stone, <laughs> okay. it's not going to work. I, I expected that, but I figured I'd ask anyway. Roll plus two. <laughs> Ashton, you are um, a little nervous walking in the dark on your own. Getting a little bit of PTSD flashback from uh, when you most that time you almost party one night at the most mines of Helen Deer. Um I'm assuming. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you get e weird echoes of that time. In fact, so much so that is a win. Um, so much so that uh, you actually can almost hear the voices of recalled companions. Yeah, exactly. At which point you uh, you make your way you make your way back past the past the fork in the, in the path, back to the carved opening, and you get back to the rest of the group without incident. Okay. Uh, they are there. The big dude at the at the entrance hears you shuffle in the room and uh, hold up. Okay, you're stuck. No, you won't. It's Ashton. Oh. Oh. Is everybody okay? His, he goes from gruff and bear to like almost almost happy puppy dog. Uh, in term, as much as a guy his size could be as, as he greets you. The flickering, they come in some broken torches. And the flickering light of the lantern that they took off the wall and he greets you. You see the little huddle of about 12. I think it was about 12. Uh, people. I believe we found a way out. Right. It was a creature, but don't worry. Um, the woman, the Tita woman, uh, uh, comes walking up here. We, we heard some guards, uh, but they, they've gone quiet. That was about only about two or three minutes back. I think, I think maybe they're noticing they heard some shuffling. Uh, they haven't gotten here yet. Well said. All right. So you make your way back down, leading them. Um, the kid, uh, as you're walking by, sees the the fork in the road, uh, and starts going down the wrong way a little bit. All right. Uh, just uh, at disadvantage because you're marshalling all those people. That makes sense. Um, I, you're rolling so this, on their This bed. sounds to me like it's not that long that, that would all take. There wasn't like a whole scene. Or but anything. you're like sifting gold. Oh, 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 I'm taking a long time. No, no, his. But, it's a bit um, of a hike, but other than that. Previously, we had said that uh, Rochelle had waited like 10 minutes or something. Yeah, I think probably she'd meet up with Ashton before she came after me, unless 10 minutes wasn't exaggerating. Uh, no, it's, it's a, it takes a good five minutes for him to get back and okay. probably return. So it's about synced up as he's starting back. Right. You're standing awesome. up to your waist, in the, a little over your waist in the water, being like. 
Yeah, I'm gonna hear me. cast light okay. onto my mace. It's gonna be hard to swim with a mace, but you can cast it on your holy symbol real easy or something. Or How far or would. <laughs> it depends on what you wanna do with it. But I'm just saying, swimming with a mace in your hand is. Yeah. You probably want a belt. Like, I, trying to think, like, I would be holding it ahead of me. Okay. Kind of. You're gonna be doing that one of the checks at disadvantage. Okay. Don't wanna do that. I uh, really don't want to do that. Let me see what else I have on me. Cause really, all I have is my Ebon. And really. like a Gambeson that you took off the guard. Yeah. And like, well, I mean, you're we don't have box. much. No. We just. So. Um, okay. As we're going, I'm going to use my mouse myself to get my stuff up. I'm just slightly damaged. My intent is to remove the other weapon. Okay. Bury them to the top. Yeah. Have the big guy kind of go first and help them down. I will actually hold them. Okay. Sounds good. So okay. you're still about two, three minutes out of this. Um, so you cast the spell. Uh, there's a nice light source glowing. You can see the sludgy water. Nubasaur is standing there with his arms crossed, looking at you like, mm -hmm. keeping an ear out, otherwise just looking uncomfortable in the environment. Okay. Um, you can see no sign of him, no light flickering or anything for several minutes. You did see where it disappeared, pretty much directly underneath yeah. you from where you're standing. You're kind of peeking over the edge. I'm going to try... Do you perception check for <coughs> You don't see Jack. La 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 la. The echoing and the sloshing of the water. You uh, All of a sudden, on your right, an Odia rises up and, and looks like it's reaching for your elbow. What do you do? I, um... It's that whole, like, like I, rat chewing I, your foot kind yeah, of reaction. Yeah, I cast Sacred Frame. Okay. You blast it, and of course everything of yours is kind of storm-themed. So the blast of arcane energy comes yeah. out, or of... of um, Radiant. Uh, uh, radiant energy comes out as, as an electric kind of, okay. as is, uh, and you zap this thing right next to you. Let me do a quick save. And the moss floating on the surface of the water that brushed your your side as you were looking for her uh, makes its deck save. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't a natural 20, you actually miss the moss and blast the water. Back. Just like that. And Odi and, uh, and Nubasaur's like, oh yeah, they, and Nubasaur reaches in and gets his pike, uh, his pickaxe in and hefts up this large, about uh, like almost two foot wide section of floating moss and sludge that brushed up against you. He's like, I think he got it. Nice shot, did I? <laughs> you give me read between the lines, read them. <laughs> and I'm gonna try one more time uh, to contact uh, Ashton. Ash yeah, Ashton. Um, <coughs> to see, it's been probably 12, yeah. 12 13 minutes yeah. now. Um, I'm gonna try one more time, and, what do you and say? if he is not there, I'm going down. Okay. Uh, Ashton. Can you hear me? All you pick up is me. For a second, you heard an echo, but it might have been your former companion. What was their name? Who was lost in the bar? Lost in the mines of Philly. You smashed the You remember it being like, Look out for the. That wasn't the Well, you can, you can almost imagine what it was saying. It was smashed. The wonderful music on that accordion. Sometimes you get the horns. The final words. Unlike and other only, bards, he would inspire me all the time. That's a rare bard. 
<laughs> Most of the time they just flip you off. But I mean, hey, it sometimes that's inspiring. Some, some very <laughs> difficult fights. And then they fly it. Alright. So first, you're having these recollections of your former uh, companions, and you just catch the tail end of me. Just like, was that? Whoa! You give your head a shake and keep on marching. No reply. I'm gonna make your athletics check, please. Gonna hold myself. Got cast guidance. Sure thing. And. Deep breath. That's smart. <laughs> and under I go. All right. I should have thought. Every of that. once in a while, for I just, have my moments. For just a second, Nubasaur flinches as this downburst of sudden gust in this almost static filled place rushes as a sign of your deity watching over you. As as a storm gust just pushes gently down upon you as you go, as you sink beneath the water. Go ahead and make your uh, assumption with a D, uh, well, whenever you want to spend the D, uh, D4. You know, yeah, right? it doesn't let's, have to be the let's see one. first. Wait on well, I think you can use it before you roll. But I'm yeah, I'm gonna spend it. You uh, oh it's just that you might, my you might god, save it for that. Like that, give that, me this. Is, it won't save. even matter. It might, you might, Okay, well... You might have been not quite ready as the gust of wind pushes you down, and as you go in, Nubisol was not That kidding. was acrobatics? Uh, athletics. Athletics? Well, Nubisol that's a... Nubisol was not even joking um, with that natural one. You get a six, seven. snoot full of sludgy, filthy water as another... I come back up. You come back up gasping, gagging and retching, and Nubisol is like... Ah! <laughs> Maybe you're not a paladin, you might have a disease now. I, um... <laughs> He's just like, oh, yeah, you're awesome! <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, that's how you want to play, bud? Uh, Alright. You know, I'm, I'm watching it six. Yeah, 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 sure you are. And I cast Toll the Dead on him. Oh! I don't know, I hope he's not level one, because that would just kill a dude. <laughs> he's probably not, though. Wow. He, um... Told the dead is a wizard. This, this takes 15. Does a 17 pass? It does. So, so um, he, he's like, he growls and like, yeah. The tricks don't work. I've been down here too long. I'm a toy darian. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna he hears cast his guidance on myself <laughs> again and right. I'm gonna go back under. I hope this time you, my He brain... realizes you're serious and gives you a little bit of space this time and wa walks off, grabs a stone and starts yeah. throwing it at things in the water. Like skipping stones? Yeah. And... Wait, how... Let's... Now like, I don't know what is going on with my dice tonight. Oh, you're gonna Did fly. you touch them? I don't know. I okay. do not have any licked right, I do know someone who did. Didn't... I know someone who touched your dice. It was Gordon. Not these ones. <laughs> I He's didn't got touch that one. Okay, he never got to give it back. Okay, that's fair. Then. I mean, I uh. feel like you will Wheaton them. Okay, so that is now... Um, oh, man. 16. Okay, so you're doing pretty well. You get down, and at which a... point you find... Pass. Yeah, oh, definitely. Um, you get and down. So you're down underneath, and you see the same thing. You see the tunnel opening up underneath the lip. And you're like, oh, that's where she went. Um, oh, okay. So you assumed it was there, but you definitely back. find it no problem. You get about halfway down, swimming along. At one point, you brush against the side, trying to kick off, but your foot just goes and right. sinks in about five inches further than you think it should. And you're just like, oh. Um, uh, do another, I start going yeah, a little faster. Do another athletics check. You got plenty of air left. Okay, that's Same. another 16. No problem. You're getting pretty far down, the tunnel's arcing its way back up again. Uh, do one last as you can just see the, the slight shimmer as there's a light source up ahead uh, on the other side of the hmm. surface of the water. Alright. So you can match your own light source. And the same roll again. Wow! You like, come bursting up to the top. Um, that was three thirteens in a row. Which is perception You definitely see the light coming before she. Because I would love to like give her a hand up. Sure. If oh, I see her coming. Yeah, you definitely you see the light cool. uh, uh, in the water as she approaches with her light source, and then you're ready at the edge as she comes up and you pull her up out of the water. I see the, the nice hand clasp. coming down, and I mind link. Yeah. 
and ten before I date them. Are you parents? And, I, <laughs> and that's when the mind player pulls you up from no. Um, no, I mind link first. I know it. Um, <laughs> So you you are now standing in an irregular shape, basically a, a little uh, nest, an audio nest. Don't breathe too deep. Oh yeah, do a con check. Thank you for reminding. Me. Uh, that's probably too good. Oh, not bad. It's uh, over fifteen, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, you're fine. I mean, I've got a good <laughs> con save, so it's nineteen. All right, you are totally fine, although it is dank. In here. I'll just kind of like, like take my sleeve. It's like whole season never washed hockey bag stank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For those who like the sports. With the jock Which I don't know if there's anybody here. I, well, I don't know. But, uh, you know, Paladin locker room. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> the, that one guy, Craig, who never washed his jock strap. Oh, oh my god. He said it was his lucky job. I didn't Obviously, anyway, go into boys' locker rooms, but I had an imagine. older brother who was a football player. Yeah. yeah. So you are in a, in a regular place. You can go ahead and do a perception check as uh, right. um, you've got the stuff. I don't know that you have anywhere to carry it that's out of sight. So you definitely see a What the? I have just like a pile what is going on? of stuff that's been like piled up. Uh, you see that pile at least. Um, For because I can. Yeah. Um, perception. That is. Do where, where else you still is have it? that list. That's. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to like make sure I went through and it got everything. 16, Some gemstones. They're fine. Like 19, whatever. 19, uh, there's the pearl 20. glow. Dirty twenty. All right. You also see. Well, the good news is I can keep passing. Yeah. You see a little stack of uh, treasure. You see coins in amongst all the sludge. Yeah. Uh, you Dad, take what a are few you minutes to look around. You also happen to see. Um, uh, Wood and leather scroll case badly deteriorated, uh, kind of poking out of one pile of sludge that had missed. missed. Okay. Um, you also see. Uh, you also see a stick. Um, it just seems oddly out of place. Most of the wood here is irregular. This one's very smoothed over, as though it's been worked. Kind of sticking just out of the top of one of the piles of sludge. It doesn't look like it's in any way. It almost looks like it was. Because otherwise, I'm just like, you know. Oh, that's true, but you still did a perception check. Sure, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. may not have. She got a 20. Yeah, it's about noticing the things yeah, that are exactly. there, even though you can see them. The very first thing you noticed was the other. Most yeah, I, I'm busy looking at these things. Um, so I'm just like, I probably, like, after I pulled you up, I've, like, gone back to, like, looking at what I've done and trying to, like, you know, finish my pile yeah. of stuff. And I'm just like, no reason to make it go to waste. Like yeah, to see I will. It. You see um, anything? Here to the pile. Try to move it. Okay, so, um, which one? The, the scroll case or the? Um, the stick. Okay, so for you now. I can go up, and it's about uh, probably a good inch and a half diameter. Like, a uh, like, yeah, but and as you grab it, it's really solid. It's pretty wedged underneath. You rock it back and forth, and you pull and you pull. And it's actually a lot longer. It's been buried at a weird angle. Um, it comes out, and it's probably a good five to six feet long. It's some kind of staff. Okay, um, it's not it's like a pole arm. No, it's more like a... it is a staff, like a okay. like quarter staff. Or All right. Uh, and it is fine. <laughs> it is fine workmanship. You hear someone fall down the waterfall and crash on top of this tower. Uh, that was the big guy. He, and I'm going to spend a plot point to say he failed his save and he, he comes splashing down at the bottom. He does take fall damage uh, as he wipes out, even with the assist, and take. He, you hear a crack from the bottom of the waterfall. You don't hear this. Um, as the big dude tried to climb down, watched his climb and landed and made that sound. <laughs> Weird sound to make. What's he carrying in his pockets? <laughs> uh, he landed on the rocks in a kind of uncomfortable way. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, you can see him. He's trying to stand up, and he's like really favoring one. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll get you when I make it down. Um, I ask. <laughs> you like shout down at him? Yeah. 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 Well, I just got down. Shout. Not new, but new. So look, she took a dick. 
Okay, great. New disorder. Wow, that sounds like he drowned her. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> it does. He's a sketchy. He's not evil, but he's pretty sketchy. You he's in here for I, I might spend the plot point to make him believe that. Hey, I did nothing. Well, she came at me, and I'm leaving her alone. She's a firebrand. I'm, to be honest, I don't know if I, if I like her or I hate her. But either way, she went that way. Okay, so she's, she's alive. That's the soul, but she's swimming in that. Come here. You sort from here and help the others get down this in decline. Do a uh, persuasion check. Or intimidation, your choice. Come on, intimidation. Who can I the one with that? Uh, yeah, it's good. That's you, man. Um, or deception. No, 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 no. I, I, I'll actually, I'll actually just be called. Okay. Nineteen. Pretty good. Fuck it. So you only got like a, a, a six. You know. Oh, 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 right. He must be pretty used to following commands at this point in prison. He comes down and holds the rope. He looks at the big guy. He's like, "You all right?" The big guy's like, oh. He's kind of sitting in the news. Where did you run off to? Dude, we know we lost somebody. <laughs> I'm here, man. Just scouting it out. They seem to get along pretty good. They may have may actually know each other. Gonna. They, they're uh, Nubis are holding the rope, and the big guys just. I'm gonna get the others to start. Yeah, right. Need a breather. Need just. a breather. I'll get the others to start. He fell and took nine damage. Oh yeah, like that was a hard hit. I mean, you heard it. I did. It sounded like glass or something. Yeah, he definitely yelled. Um. Uh, anyway, so you guys are pocketing up. You have a. It is a fine. There's etchings along it. It looks like some kind of implement for. Do an arcana check or a religion check, whichever one you prefer. Uh, I prefer probably arcana. But that reminds me. I get schools. You know what? They're both the same for me, so. Ooh. You see this, yeah. and the, the runes make sense to you as you flip it over, and it's. It's a story told circularly around the staff. They kind of rotate it as you go through. And uh, what language do you speak? Just curious. Uh, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> common, Teutonic, Elvish, Orc, and Tori. Yeah, obviously. It's your com- but like all of them. You speak all of them. Uh, so Not all. Oh, found Sylvan. We found that out last time. I don't speak Sylvan. All right, it is your But I do speak Cory, which is. So you, it is draconic, okay. uh, and it is magical script, it, 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 script. Mm-hmm. and uh, with that roll, you get that this is a staff of the pipe, and you have the command word. Classic. So you can throw it on the ground, make a command, and it becomes an ally. It's me. I'm keeping that. <laughs> um, it is also, uh, it requires attunement, yep. uh, it can be used by a cleric, druid, or warlock, um, the command word you throw the staff on the ground within 10 feet, it becomes a giant constrictor snake uh, under your control and acts on its own initiative. Uh, you bonus action, you can return it to its normal form, you can mentally command it if it's within 60 feet of you, uh, and you decide what action it takes, and you can have it guard if, if it dies, it reverts to staff. It's it, as written, right? It's not yeah. like you modified it. So no, you need just, to look it up later. You can't. It's right staff here. Yeah, exactly. It's right here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you also get a scroll case in which. Uh, uh, what is the command? Um, what do you want just to make it up? Yeah, they would just say the command word. So something Internet. in draconic. How could you? Oh, I love it. Internet. I want a name for the the command word, please. Which will also happen to be the name of. The okay. Nice. I'm into it. Okay. It's like you call it. Both. All right. So. No, actually, no. Uh, you wanted to have a separate name so you can command it and also not automatically turn it back into the Right. It'll be so, a different command word to unturn it. Yeah. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, it's like conjugated different <laughs> Like, instead of going... It's Pikachu at you, you know, instead of Pikachu return. I, you go. I, if the internet makes nothing else, I really hope it's like Hissy McKiss face. Hissy McKiss face. <laughs> tran- it sounds better in Draconic. It sounds Just better like in Draconic. Filbert. It's like... <laughs> Nice. But internet, you do get to send that one in. Thank you for that. Alright, uh, so, oh, I have to remember to and put I, that in. And yeah. I also was going to look at scroll. scroll. And I would recommend, as a, as a my player, I want to see um, what I was originally looking for wasn't good, goodies, um, although that's a bonus. 
Hey. I was looking for an exit. From another this exit. There are there do not appear to be any exits. So it seems the like it's self contained. Yeah. Okay. What I was gonna say is that uh, you might wanna not open the scroll case because it might be oh, like yeah. sealed and I'm then not. like not yeah, yeah. like watertight now. I don't know if you could rewatertight it. Probably could, but you know, iffy. Yeah, no, that I'm not. And also because it seems you said when you first described it that it seemed worn. So I don't want to open it because I want to be somewhere where I can more control how it gets open. Sure, absolutely. I, I might want to do uh, You know enough about arcane that you don't want to mess around with it until yeah. you're ready. Yeah, but is there anything on the outside? Uh, no, any it does other? look like it's... Well, do another arcana check because that of course will be for the staff. That one's all good. Uh, my arcana, I think, is free, so that'll be... Yeah, that's... Um, it's not something you can make out. It, it does have some runes carved on the outside. You don't know if they're magical or whether it's just like the name of the person. Or... I'll wait till I get out. Uh, also, draconic sure. derived. These are probably from the same person. Okay. Just a quick at a glance, they're in proximity to each other. Okay. But other than that, you find like bits of an old robe, um, part of a finger bone. For sure. Okay. Oh, that's always good. Finger bone of the wizard? Yeah. Uh, Rochelle, do you see anything that we could, like, carry this stuff in? I'm sure I can ferry it out, but... Um, it is clawed. Uh, it is clawed? It's a clawed, clawed finger. Almost like, oh, I don't know, a Agamard? Probably. I'm keeping it. Alright. Uh, <laughs> because I am like that. That's why this dress has pockets. Joink! <laughs> um, I'm going to look for a bag or... I think this is like, we are both done like searching for loot and now we are both working together to, to find something to... I think like, between all the stuff, it, the, you, you find a bunch of half-rotten pieces. You managed to get like the pack part of a backpack, of right. a pouch, right. uh, uh, like a small rucksack. Yeah. is viable. Sure. Uh, that would hold what you need. Sure. But um, the mace will be sticking out, for example. Uh, not mace, uh, morning star. I will happily um, actually, I swim with only my legs. Okay. I think I could probably pull that off. So yeah. <laughs> well, you I'm actually do both of us to are going to have to leather strap navigate the box. Sure. You can mm -hmm. fix them. I think both of us are going to have to. The box is only about box. a foot by a half a foot. But if it's wood and airtight, it's not. It kind of wanna Oddly, it feels like it's almost a solid block of wood, but it's definitely worked like it's not. It's very strange. So it wouldn't be buoyant or I mean, it would probably find out. Buoyant. But I mean, well, you can pull the, it. That's yeah. the problem. Whoever's carrying it, its buoyancy may offset yeah. and take them more time. True. So sure. I'm thinking if the both of us were we're minimizing its buoyancy sure. to a level. Whatever. I mean, we work together, we get so out. You, you, I would count that as an assist. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I think at this point, this part in of it. the scene ends, and then we will show up yeah. sometime in the yeah. middle of Ashton's scene. Right, so, uh, uh, the can I get you to do. I did put the scroll uh, in that box. Though. Wait, in the box? Oh, you haven't opened that box. Oh, you didn't open can it? Can I get both of them? It doesn't open, as far as we know. It's got runes on it, and that's about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, just do me a favor. Can you guys do uh, three athletics checks? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna so because of the slugs, yeah. so it's going to be a straight one. Uh, uh, this is a net three 29. athletics check each from okay, all Okay, but I'm still okay. casting uh, guidance on you before we go under. This is not for you guys. <laughs> This is for the people climbing down the waterfall. You're okay. just spreading out the dice rolls. Okay. But so, so wait, just what so do you I know, add? When oh, we when do you do start we'll going do, under. Yeah, what's the multiplier there? Yeah. Uh, they'll they'll do just straight flat. Roll. Okay, so 19, a nine, uh, 16. Oh dear. Natural 20. Yeah. Only roll good on athletics checks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you get? I'll start with the good. 18. <laughs> And there we are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now the rest. Uh, six and a five. All right. So the natural twenty is the tiefling woman, not the child, the mother. Not the, but the child was one of the veils, and she reaches over and grabs her by the scruff of the yeah. neck and stops her from falling. <laughs> uh, so that, that neutralizes out yeah, one good. of them. Um, the uh, 
That means four succeed and three do not. So they even still they slip and fall. They don't fall the whole distance, uh -huh. but they're, we're talking like bastions on rocks. Uh, Can somebody knees. fall on the big guy and take half damage? <laughs> You know what? I think they're holding You their know what? I'll, I'll do that one. one. I'll the, do that one. Actually, the big guy. I think that would be funny. Yeah, absolutely, although the big guy actually puts himself in that position. Oh, so, so like, he takes himself. Oh, yeah, he's like gotten up by this. Yeah, he's trying to catch people. He makes himself like still a thing. Them. Right, yeah. So, they each take three. Which, like, is a lot for a level zero commoner, right? Like, yeah. he, he is With not. With no armor. Right, but like these guys falling. These are. guys falling might be. So they're, yep. Yeah, that one is probably about half. Like, fall bad, twist of the ankle. Yeah. And then the other last one. Ooh. The last person, um, it's actually the old guy. Oh, uh, no, he's not a level one. He's a level zero. Uh, you just get one of the kind of non gray Greg has t stayed till the end with you. He's like, all right, thanks for coming back, folks. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> and just turtles right off the bat. Oh, oh, that is not. Oh, he hits with a sickening at the base of the waterfall. He's healed. Yeah, he was. Uh, uh, he's not a little help. I never assumed he'd be uh, uh, a level zero, but he might be like guard stat and block. Blood is so. just seeping out and into the mud. He landed badly. I rolled a five and a six. <laughs> he landed badly. At which point these two, um, I'm gonna say between these two, you know, get to get to get to Yeah, did you want us to make some rolls? I think between your yeah. ability and your assisting, and you no, together right. can make it through no problem. Right. If we use like, a bit of trouble, if, if, if passive like athletics was a thing, I'd be out of 20. Yeah. So like, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys managed to come through, you're gasping a little bit as you pop up. You're at the top, uh, what do you want to do? As this yeah, all happens simultaneously. Pop up, yeah. leaving out great. Even for stupid things. I got to curse the magic items. So I call out. <laughs> Sorry. You require healing down there, do I, and I turn back. Is there any? Do I see anyone? Quick scan behind you. Yeah. Uh, do a perception. Do you prepare healing work? Just like as a player, question. <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen. It's always prepared. So it's pure wounds. When Greg? Well, no, pure wounds. Yeah, but I was wondering about healing work. Absolutely. When yeah. Greg? Yeah. Range. So when yeah. Greg fell, exactly. he let out a, a really loud yell, yeah. like even louder than the big guy. It, it was basically his death now, and uh, he is crazy and dying, uh, by the way. Uh, and it goes through, and he's like flinching and turning around and listening to death. You want a 19? And not completely. Flumps, 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 Nothing yet, but you can hear it echoing off down the hall. If anyone was in a few minutes, minutes, they will have heard it. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly go down. I thought of check straight away, please. Sludgy and rope Sorry, while the paladin is uh, making his way down, we're going to get Greg is about five feet from the edge of the water. I'll give Did a Greg. Did he make it out before? Oh, yeah, you, you saw this. He had just hit. And you actually pop up and you hear the yell. Right, I see him, and the first thing I do is I, I, I glance over him. Right, like you go swimming up. We're uh, holding stuff. You're but dripping water, and uh, is only verbal. So you're holding hopefully. it, and you go up and lay on hands. Uh, make well, roll. it's technically oh, sorry, pure pure wounds, but, Go ahead yeah. and make your roll. And drop I'm, something for that. It's like you're touching. <laughs> Well, yeah. she left the stuff with you. I guess I have most of it because I can carry you, like yeah, you had the box. Or I was too, assisting you, but that by sense. that point, yeah. I don't need to assist. What? I have a staff. That's it. Right. And yeah, a that scroll. makes sense. Yep. Oh dear, we are uh, eight. <gasps> and his eyes, which were wide open in a glazed-over stare in the ceiling, suddenly flicker back and forth, and. Uh, the spark of awareness comes back into him and it's just like, oh, oh. Greg. He rolls over, clutching the back of his hand, a head, 
Um, the wound is stitched together, but he's now missing his part of his scalp. Um, Nubuso is standing back and we're like, nice catch there, dead eye. Are you alright there, skunk boy? Nubasaur's thing is to give nicknames. That's, I'm into it. That's it's good. Thing. You're dead eye. <laughs> oh, you are. Dead and Greg is now skunk bat, skunk boy. Because he's got a chunk of his scalp that is no longer got hair on. But he is alive with eight hit points. Something tells me my Kalishtar free wants to unsettle Nubasaur. So bad. Can you change one? <laughs> oh, you have it. Change like yeah, right. I rolled 13. 13? <laughs> that's our other game. Yeah. I can't do that. The, the job you did to anchor that has managed to get 12 people down. But as you're about halfway down, not all the way you down, can but the, uh, the, the spike at the top lets go, or maybe the rope does, and, and uh, you go falling down, taking half already. Uh, you can do an acrobatic check to take a, uh, a further half. Wow, I rolled a six. Uh, 16. Alright, so you take half and you only take three. Okay, so you guys are now all collectively at the bottom. The good news is the, the spike I mean, this, you've got your rope. Yay! Hey! The big, uh, the big guy kind of limps up and does it. How bad later? Uh, do a medicine check. How much did That's you okay. Here's five people. Nice. He much appreciates that. Okay. Alright. Right. <laughs> anyone else severely badly? He was? Uh, anyone no, else? Everybody else seems okay. Yeah. Uh, Greg was the guy who fell down, but he's knitted back together almost back in the moment. He's been up down, up down. <laughs> Alright, you Good guys job, are together. Greg. You're all bundled around the edge of this. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna bring the staff. Pulling myself out onto this ledge as best I can. It's like, mine are like, whatever. Ashton, give us a hand. Oh, this ledge is, handy. you really basically have to go single file along the edge. Sure, yeah. yeah. I'll take a Rear? <laughs> um, <laughs> Unless you want to go in the water, and there's probably about a no, three or five I foot don't. ledge around as it falls away. Okay. Uh, and then it drops. So... I need to grab my chain. I think like, it's... Yeah. Really I'm assuming oh, yeah, yeah. you gather all your gear yeah. and get ready. Yeah. Yeah. There's and a moment, there's some like... Thanks, Rochelle. Who wants to take Alright, is going to be scouting in front. Um, he moves <laughs> quickly out in front. I'm going go. behind him. He, he goes a good 20 feet ahead. I'm so somewhere in the middle because like, my hands are full. Yeah, I can't yeah. really do much. With 12 of them, I'm assuming you guys have to spread out quite a bit. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. And each of you will have a few in between you. Uh, so you guys are marching along and going around, uh, around to where the basically the ledge kind of stops. And Nubis was like, um, you guys kind of push your way past and a couple people wading through the water just a little bit. And so Nubis was pointing up. He's like, I was up there. And just around the edge, uh, around behind this, you can, you can feel pressure in air. Nice. Um, just coming from back here. But the problem is there's no ledge. So you're going to have to swim over his Okay. Uh, this is the closest I've been to this, like, big, black type giant rover thing. Yes. Um, Anything I should know about it now that I can actually get a good look at it? it looks like a bit of an island. Okay. Popping out of the Kind of like a cool cave in there I can explore. <laughs> you already got your... Originally that was where I was going to put the cool cave. Yeah. But you, I put it over there because I wanted to. Okay. <laughs> I was like, but way. there's a thing so, over there. <laughs> so, so hold on. This ends. This is water. Yeah. And that's an island. That's a little island. And there's a little and there's a, Yeah, sticking right up and it connects to the sea. Uh, there, on the far side, you can see a little, almost like a little uh, plateau or beach type thing on the far side. Oh, you're here? Yeah. I didn't draw it yet, but I will now. Okay. There's nothing connecting the island with that. No, no, you're going to have to go through the water to get there. Okay. Well, so this is just not necessary. Well, that's what that is. There's a little plateau there, and then another... Um, uh, this one actually, it, it actually descends 
downwards is there's an opening. Right? So we need to go to the water to get to the island and through the water to get to the exit. Uh, Presumably. Yeah, you could. It's, it's not only, like it's only a, like a ten or fifteen. You could maybe jump that if you wanted. To. Sure. Um, and it, does it get deep or is it like it's enough to Pretty long? deep. Yeah. Uh, the ledge around here this drops is, off. This is a lot. lot. It's how much? Twenty? Yeah, but I mean for it's escorting uh, normal people, it's, it's a lot. It's. Oh, deep. No, oh, it's quite deep. I'm talking about but, how far high. Uh, it's about oh. 30 feet up. 20, 30 feet. It's very irregular. Uh, this, I'm going to say it's uh, 10, 20 feet to get to the little island, but there is a little lip around the island. If you did a good enough jump, you might be able to make it. In fact, that's exactly what Nubasaur is going to try to do. You go, Nubasaur. <laughs> With a natural twenty. Of course. He he literally He's like, he just, jumps boom, he kinda clambers up on the side of the wall and normally couldn't stay there for very long, starts slipping down and uses that to just vault like yeah. cat. Yeah. I'm gonna ferry up the rope. Dude. Lands on the side and like, yeah, still going. Yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna fit pass the rope up the line. Yeah. To head. Okay. Well hands in front. You got a twenty foot long rope. Oh, sorry, 25. 20, 25. So this has just been handed to me? Yes. And I'm just like, I can't really, what? Um, you've managed to rig enough of a backpack that All right, you're sure. not fully... Whatever, I have a hand free, I grab a rope. Um, I guess I tossed the end of it to a uh, I didn't realize I was so sure. far in the front. I thought it was middle and ish. Oh. Uh, but that's cool. Uh, that's uh, I thought that the show was in the front. It's that's kind of what I remember. I am. Yeah. Okay, so you have to do it. You have to do it. I said pass it to the front. Right, so, so I continue yeah, passing. I'm I, I, at grab my party. It, that's fine. Right. And is our goal to throw it over to. Yeah, so we right. can. It's a bit too short to tie off, but it will give somebody well, we're a we're hoping we can it. hold it. Yeah, you probably have to dangle in the water, if, uh, unless you get somebody real strong to hold both ends. Which is, well, which I'm have gonna pretty strong people. Well, I'm gonna throw it to him. Yeah, holds it and he's like this three thin, ratty kind of guy standing at the, uh, on the other side. He's like, oh, yeah. great. Now what? Hold it! And brace Hi, yourself. Yes. Just dig your heels into the He like the motions ground. towards his own like spindly little arms. Yeah, so I yell, tie it. It's actually a bit too short to tie it. Short it's too short to tie it. It's not like so, just some... And I'll if it was a 50 it. foot, you could go all the way around. But yeah. it's not like smaller select. I'll like hold my, this end so that everybody can... Right, who's, so you That's can send a rando across? Or uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, if... I say we send one of our stronger people. Yeah, if we can get to the point where, like... And I know you and I need to go off first, so I suggest... Well, yeah, we should be at both ends of the room, right? Yeah. Um, so we need to get to the point where that is true. Cool. But you're at the end, right? And I'm holding the rear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. presumably strong. And, yeah, I'm gonna... But, you know. I'm definitely gonna... As give strong as an audio? Guidance to myself. Right. Uh, for holding that rope. Okay. For no whoever's point. crossing. Make your, oh, sorry, Nubasaur's making the athletics and you are. So go ahead and make that. Oh! Nice sound effects. That was a wise, wise. Bye. I mean, at this point, like, as long as it's just us, we can swim through that and then set up our stuff anyway if we need to. So, you're holding it, you got it. Nubasaur pulls, he, he rolled a 15, so he's got it. Um, I'll I'll give that an advantage to try and get across on the body. But whoever does will have to go into the water. Like, their, their lower body is definitely going to be... Is that because of the roll, or just, to, like, can we get it to the point where that's not true? Which I think is probably fine. They're prisoners. Maybe, they're going to have to go through some hardship yeah. to deal with it, right? But maybe but, the big know. guy and one of you guys holding the other side. Yeah, I want to get to the point where, like, do that, that's but happening, Nubisaur right? is not going to be able to. Okay, yeah. I will get there as soon as I can. I don't know where I am okay. in the middle. So go ahead and make but, your athletic check to get across. Sure. You said they get advantage? Uh, that's a 14. And that is a 27. 27. Between, it's almost a partial kick. Yeah. Uh, jump, and you grab the rope in the middle, and you just kind of swing to it, and you, you land, your feet hit like a foot of water, but it's... I, I imagine a thing where like I land, and like it's at the same moment that Nubasaur is like basically falling forward yeah. from the so I like catch them, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like, alright, 
I'll take it from and, here. And one of the people in the back, uh, the big dude grabs onto your shoulder as you start to be pulled off by his yeah. weight. He grabs oh, your he shoulder and he pulls you okay. back. So uh, you managed Thank to get you. through just by getting one with the wet foot. Great. You start ferrying some people across. Yeah, so I'm Everybody. holding the rope now. I'm like, Nubasar, go see what you can see at the other side. I don't know. You feel it. He yeah. disappears. Um, you guys get it. go ahead and roll three athletic checks each. Uh oh. Because that went so well for me last time. Uh, 13. Alright, that's a better one. That is not. And I'm rocking it again. Same, almost identical rolls, except it's a four instead of a five. 14 to 9 is a four. A 14, a 9, and a 4. Uh, what was yours? No advantage? 16. Uh, actually, yes, both of us. Both of us? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's not sure right. sure what to do with those numbers now. So I rolled 3. So should each one of those now Just get a second uh, one in order? Sure, yeah. Okay, so 8 becomes a 10. So that's still not great. Uh, 13 so... becomes a max 20. And 19 stays at 19. So okay. 10, 20, 19. All right, nice. How, how are you? So it's a six and a four. Turns the six turns into an eighteen. No problem. Four turns into a ten, and the sixteen stays a sixteen. And you? So my fourteen is still a fourteen, and then the next two rolls is a fourteen and a twenty. Fourteen to twenty. That's nice. Yeah. All right, and go ahead and make one roll for anybody who's of our team who is left behind, which is just you. Oh, and and you. With yes. advantage. Yep. Uh, yeah. Actually, if you go before him, you have yeah, to yeah. So one you, of you hand the rope off to um, uh, I'm last. Ashton, and then Ashton's just gonna I don't know jump. All right, so that was a one and six. Thank goodness for that advantage. So, uh, athletics, right? Yeah. It's about time you got to do it. 14. <laughs> 14? You make it. We all need to go. You get a little bit of a soaker, but you get, you get past the deep part. I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to just, like, drop it. Although, I think you just jump it. Unassisted, right? sir. Unassisted. You can swim it, or you can jump it. Well, before I jump, I'm going to lift, like, do I see perception, like, what? Sure, do a perception. Just from behind, because I'm taking up the... Sounds good. Just in case. Hmm. Don't hear it. Okay. Well, he's got the other end of the rope. I mean, if we give it a no, good... No, 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 that was just perception. Yeah. Right, I know. It's, it's a good point, though. I was thinking something similar. Right? right? Like, Giving it, him a little light. Like, as you pause and listen... Uh, <laughs> that was, that was, like, well, that was that just was seven. A, yeah, with a seven, all you hear is splashing and people on the other side. It's okay, baby. We're almost done. So you hear you hear something like that. I was going to say, let's take a little break. As you listen back, you don't hear anything behind you. Great. All right, we're we'll gonna take right. a little pause now. And we'll we'll be back work to that. You got two things going. I'm curious to see how that all ends up. No idea. We'll see. But you guys can. Uh... And we're back. Things in the <coughs> news media world. Okay. So, um, I didn't hear anything. Uh, all right, all right. And I'm going and to... Yeah. Everyone else seems to be uh, well and truly across. So I'm going to tie my end to what I Okay. He has, she, you have to And the big guy is going to give you the assist. Sure. And so you have a But uh, I have a pen? You do. Because Why? they're both like... Why? <laughs> at the same time. Oh, 24. You... Nice. And you forward it uh, no problem and hit and land with no problem. The big guy stabilizes you with the two of them stabilize yeah, right. you as they reel you in. Um, <coughs> as you get to this point, a wait one sec. Does a fifth nope eight hold on. <laughs> Same roll. Does a 15 hit your armor class? No. A crossbow bolt chips off of this uh, rock right near you. Hey! Okay. From somewhere in the darkness. 
over there. Did I find a crappy shield? Uh, no? We talked sure. about it. Yeah, I think you did actually. Okay, great. No longer at 14 AC. <laughs> uh, you guys are all huddled around this little island. Uh, like, what, what's wrong? Everyone's like, so burying people around this yeah, side yeah. of the pillar. Yeah. So that we have cover. Yeah, for sure. Um, um, make it over to like, yes. I will be at the end. Okay, so the two of you are going to be the close. I'm going to make a perception. I want to find out it. where I need to position yeah. myself. <laughs> What's that? Uh, okay, 10. Oh, okay, it's not great then. It's 12. It's dark. Uh, it's dark. light source is, doesn't radiate far enough. Yeah, to I, I'm where hoping that I darkness. can, like, no matter what, even if I just completely botch that roll, I can position myself like, oh, I can see what happened with the crossbow well, bolt. I can put myself came, there. But, you don't but see I'm video. really wondering if there's other shooters, so I'm not like, oh, I'm going to stand here, and then somebody gets shot behind me. The only spot you can really like make that. out, which is lit by your light, is, is yeah. where you left from, and there's no one there. It sure. shot some from yeah, all the way same. across. Yeah, okay. 19. 19? And you've got dark vision, yeah? Okay, so in the darkness, you can tell really well it came from back towards the waterfall. You actually heard the shot when you saw it. Yeah, you heard the twang of the crossbow, All right. and then you heard I'm the shot. I'm going to... How far is that again? And wisely shields up and gets ready to the other shore cross. Um, this is going to be... So within 60 feet? <laughs> they rolled with disadvantage. Sure, but still. Oh, I'm a dick. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm doing like it. Or something like. I'm doing. No, I don't. I only I'm have a mace. Yeah, I know. Sorry. So I'm going to, in that direction, like up toward here. So you attack the darkness. No. Oh. I cast. Fog cloud. That is a good use of fog cloud. Nice. I like this. All right. And so so the disadvantage, the roll at disadvantage. Yes. Sorry, I'm just kidding. I like the flavor of it though. No, it's, it's excellent. The, the mist, it was already super humid in here, so you just give it a little nudge. Yeah. Um, and the fog leaps up off the lake. And a wall of fog rises up just inside your vision and uh, this whole region is a dark no, I love that. Soup. I'm like uh, you hear a couple more flinching to the noise and I look over and I'm just like oh quickly yeah let's you get hear out a of couple here. more twangs but you don't even see where they landed yeah the blind firing so what's over here then uh Nubisaur and the others are uh, there's a little beach for lack of a better term, and a uh, uh, and there's an opening, and it, it continues on this little tunnel. Okay. Uh, it is descending at this point. Like the beach rises up, and then it starts to descend, so it is a buffer against the water. Okay. Uh, when the water level is here, down yeah, prior, it probably did pour out, but it's not high enough right now. It was just. Okay. <laughs> it's another. Uh, this one's only about twelve, uh, ten feet across at the narrowest point. So not too hard an athletic check. Everybody roll three athletic checks again, no advantage this time, unless you want to set up your rope. Wait, what's going um, on? Just so Are we automatically you know moving across? Block. Uh, I mean, that would try and pass. Well, Nubasaur is going to leap across um, okay. and catch a toe and. I'll get it. Yep. <laughs> Slash sloshes up over to the other side. Splash, 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 splash. Magic curves way on the shore. Yeah. He ends up on the other side. He did actually have to swim it's surprisingly deep at the Yeah. Um, yeah, so that cloud is going to stay up for an hour. Whoa. It, it actually starts billowing down and just spreading out ever so slightly. Yeah, it does that like flattening out yeah. that thing. But yeah. it's such an enclosed space, the whole thing is oh, yeah. now great. almost back to where you swam uh, like your it. leap across. I like it. So, so I said, right. so I, not too bad, I'd say. Same thing, a tie, passing along. All right, I did that. Sure. Yeah. So you stay at the back. The big guy. Uh, well, can we get you guys to do your three checks? Uh, sure. So they're just like eleven. Do, they're they're being nine. nice, autonomous people. I love yeah. that. It's great. All right, three checks. Yeah, they're not gonna stand. 
Like yeah. they heard the crossbow. Four. Too. They, awesome. They know what I'm into a four. I got a natural one. That's great. And then I got fourteen. Eleven, nine, and nine. Aha! It's wrecked. Fall in the water. And eleven, nine, nineteen. And what was your seventeen? Yeah. Um, nine and seven. Okay, so two guys. All right. Um, they are making mine. a rag. Yeah. Um, the natural twenty is going to be interesting, but um, I'm sorry, the natural one. Yeah. Uh, so most of them are leaping across. I'd say about. They are in a world. panic. Yeah. They're they're <laughs> splashing. There's they're like leaping and hitting the water, and then dog paddling to the other end. Um, you, see, you get to the, most of them are getting up. Nubis are pulling them out of the water. They're able the to get out, right? There's not much space on the shore. So no, are they, or are they just piling of, up here? They're piling up, and then there's a bit of a tunnel. So they're they're okay. starting. The big guy kind of goes across and starts going down. So pickaxe work going on. Yeah, well, yeah, he's just getting ready. Nubis is actually helping pull people out of the water. Uh, and uh, but they are making a racket, yeah. hitting this water, paddling around. I would Almost like to, half of them failed. I would like to add to. Um, <laughs> and the natural one uh, is somebody who's standing uh, right beside you. He's like, oh, no, oh, oh. Uh, it's like the guy you haven't really chatted with. Sure, there's 14 of them. Yeah, yeah it's going to happen. Yeah, there's 12 of them. Uh, this guy's like, I don't swim. I, I don't swim. I, I don't think I can make it. I need the rope. That's your natural one. Who has the rope? I think so, you did. It was tied with oh, you at least last time we uh, saw, right? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I tied it to him. Okay, so I you tied it. around him instead. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and the big guy starts to pull, and uh, awesome. and uh, you're the three of you are still on that side. Um, yeah. Anybody else want to do anything to help this poor guy? He's like, he's, he's actually. I thought we were on this candy. on the on, on the like side where the arrows were coming. Oh, okay, you're still there. I thought. Yeah, I'm over here. Oh, okay. so so I'll tie it off. Okay. He looks panicked. He's I'll probably in his. Mid twenties, uh, kind of bowl to... cut, hair cut thing, kind of a, almost like a uh, guy on the office, kind of sure. skinny looking. Like I'm actually going to reach out the staff, yeah, and be like around it. Okay. Oh, oh, you're you're not across yet. No. Oh. You're still on. But this he's side. in between. No, he's right next to you. He's panicking, oh. like with the crossbow bolts in the water. I should calm him down. That's like the thing I'm good for. I gotta check my spell slot. Or you could just try this. Later. I could just like try to be nice and stuff. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 swim. Oh, 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 oh. Intimidate. Get over there now! Make How long did all this took a while? I imagine there was like 14 people going through. Carol, what you smell? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. that is. All right. Because I would like to prior like action economy wise, I yeah. would love to help this scene. I think this seems a nice scene. But before that, I wanted to. 14. Um, What's the word? Add to the fog cloud going on with some noises coming from within it. Just maybe oh, people off from, off or like, you have people not want to go through this fog cloud. They can't see what's going on. So in. You, you make some audio noises. Yeah, I'm just like no. basically like breathe into my hands and yeah. like as I like open them, the like sound reverberates through. And, and you're like, doing like press, almost pressing the digitation to like it, it's uh, it's minor illusion, but oh, minor nice. illusion can do stuff. Can do yeah. sounds. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Um, so you're making eerie sounds. Yeah, and I, and I do want to see if I can mimic the uh, the sounds the audio is Absolutely. making. Absolutely, uh, it's like casting your voice. Yeah, uh, exactly. Totally. <laughs> and so you you go ahead and make a palm scan. Uh, sure, great. I'll do that. Um, <laughs> Since you're doing a, a specific I don't thing. think I have to. Odie lives on. Efficiency, but That's that a bard. is uh, nah, well, you know, I'm a paladin. Um, okay, bard. so bard again? what is my plus to this? Pardon? My charisma? Four? Four charisma? Yeah, so that's... Well... Twelve. Yeah, twelve. If you for the untrained ear, you're like, oh, it doesn't sound as nice as Odie. But you're definitely making creepy noises in the dark. I like yeah. that idea. I, so I just want to like... You know, it because it's... Because it's, it's because blind. I'm going to be exactly. advantage on it. Because it's... Sure. I mean, in the dark. normally you just have a, like, a... Yeah. Like, investigate check to tell it's not real. That's funny. Oh, um, yeah, there it is. Um, but I appreciate the chance to roll a nat 20, so thank you. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> We've rolled way more nat 20s than nat 1s in the set. Yeah. Let's just say that. So the... Have the some of each though. Every once in a while out of the dark, you had been hearing twang, twang of the crossbow bolts and the clicking off the wood. Uh, you don't act a lot of them hitting the water uh, in the fog. 
once you start making that noise, and they probably know what you it is. Hear them be like, right. oh, "Is it me?" You can hear it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is it me? Over there! Over there! Fuck you, fire! And and they, you hear them all like giving orders and click click as they run into crosses, and then all firing pretty quick order. Uh, do a perception check. Sure, why not? I mean, you were military. military. Let's say fourteen. You can't make out exactly how many crossbow bolts, but over four. Okay, uh, cool. As you hear, <laughs> something and they all release, and they, you can hear the sounds of hitting the rocks. That's such over a good here. use of fog cloud. I love it. Yeah, fog cloud plus minor illusion, FDW. Nice job, guys. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Panic Boy, you tell him to make leave. He's like, oh, and he starts to go, and losing his footing just at the last second, splash into the water. Um, he's flailing around and sinking. He's just beyond your reach because he oh. lifts just enough. Even with the bank and pull him. Right. So the big guy's like, oh, right. Oh, okay. And starts pulling on the guy. Nice move because I was totally going to drown that guy. Just so I you mean, know. I'll, we just get to jump in and take him. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Um, but the big guy pulls him out right. and uh, drops him on the, on the beast beside him and gives him a shove down the thing. Now you are the only three left on that little island. You hear the click click of rock and rolls hitting rocks over here. Your sound goes for 10 minutes, so. Sweet, awesome. I mean, that seems like enough time. Let's also cross. Right? Yeah. We're gonna roll. Just jumping. Athletic. Just jumping. That's 29. Nice. Woo. You're across, no problem. Shall? Uh, Nubisaur has turned and gone down yeah. as well. We'll meet up with him. I don't know. The big guy's the only one left on the beach. Shall I? Yeah. All right, this is uh, athletics, huh? No advantage. Cast guidance. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry, did you want some help? Should I have waited? I just. Apologies. <laughs> you swear out of the fog, you hear a distant thunder rumble. That was worth yeah. casting the guidance. Yes, it was. That's a four on the. Yeah. Um, and I knew I was going to need it, so I just did it. Um, so that is an 18. Or no, 17. Oh, who's that? Who's the guy that's all back? Yeah, oh yeah. 17. 17? Oh yeah, you make it. And yeah. I'll throw the rope back. Yeah, the big guy's already thrown it. Alright, uh, tying off. You, you loop one arm through. Yeah, yeah, same deal. Go ahead and roll this time with the bandage. That next one. 27. No problem. Right. You guys have cleared the island without too much trouble. Uh, and Ashton, can you get up there? It's actually not much. It's actually a, just, a, a, just a gentle oh, roll. Oh, I thought it was. Fine. Yes, so can you. Yeah, you're. <laughs> you know, you're totally fine. Uh, I thought it's it was just to stop water from going down. Yes, so can no, you. No, no. Uh, it just goes kind of a, an ascends about ten feet and yep. then, cool. then begins descending. Like, All right. Yeah, you guess, uh, start climbing. Start going down that way. Yeah. Uh, this one is again the sides have been rubbed uh, probably by the Odoo. It's only about twelve feet wide. It's pretty sludgy, but it's less slime cover. I'm not gonna make you. It's not kind of steep enough that the top can hit you. Uh, it's still dripping with moisture though as you get towards the end. Uh, there's kind of a cluster of people. You get, go down left, then right, then left, then fresh air. Is, is Ding really Dong close. making any checks uh, for like perception? You can tell him to. Come on. What's his name? Nubisaur. Nubisaur? Mm-hmm. Or you can call him Ding Dong. He's given you Nubisaur. I like it. Ding Dong? It's inappropriate. Are you checking? For things to make sure that we have a clear path. You might, all right. I'm not totally new with this. Really? Really. All right. You well, and Nubiso are going to either kill each other or get married. Because this is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this is a 50 50. Although you've tried to kill him twice, so. I have tried I have, to. I, I actually I have. I don't know if I'd call that trying to kill him. If you tried, you would have. <laughs> Oh yeah, I would have cast Guiding Bolt. <laughs> that's fair. Not worth, I cast... You're not worth the spell slot. That's, no, he that's wasn't. Dismissive. <laughs> he wasn't worth that, the spell I slot. I kind of want that as a t-shirt. Yeah, it, it's the, it's the equivalent you of not, not worth the worth bullet. It. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really good. You're not worth the... I, internet? You're not worth the spell slot. Maybe. I'm going to write that yeah, down. Yeah, you write that down. That, that That's official you're side quest you're live not merch. Not um, merch. It, it's a it's copyright yeah, here now. Don't steal. <laughs> 
probably know it exists. You probably Google it and go, yeah, there's like 12 of these. If I had, I might not have had the spell slot for that awesome Cloud Cloud. So. Good Cloud Cloud. It all works out. So, all right, cool. I'll roll it. So he does check for issues and he's like, um, and he replies mentally back to you. He's like, is this how this works? <laughs> um, we've got a bit of a problem here. What's the matter? And we're out the road. Huh? So you guys catch up after a few minutes. You see a cluster of all, all of them at the end. They kind of make a path for you. It's about 15 feet oh, wide here. No uh, the light is, after being in the darkness for so long, is pretty bright. Uh, it is just like straight time. down, is that what I'm hearing? You guys didn't, you kind of lost track of it. Sure, yeah, of course. Well, yeah, we've been uh, in the dungeon. In the dungeon, and it is now... Uh, probably coming up on about half an hour after dawn. So it's like, oh, it's bright. Right. And you hear running water and a lot of it. Awesome. Uh, and going through, you get up to the edge and it's, you're basically a hole in the side of the cliff. Oh, okay, gotcha. I understand now. You're a good 50, 60 feet up, maybe in the air. Uh, and you're overlooking a river. And it is. At this point, probably 50, 60 feet across to the other side. The, so, uh, the other side is not very steep. It, it is a bit of a, a lip that you could probably climb that. It will be one heck of a climb down to get to the river. And the river is not calmly flowing by. Uh, sure. Yeah. That might be helpful. So we're in like the side of a cliff with the river. Like, is it going yeah. underneath? Cross or like yeah. under or <laughs> I'll, I can so go under? I can see that. You guys are actually um, so if you emerge from from the edge here, yeah. you guys are up here in a uh, a good fifteen foot wide cave, yeah. and there there are little like you can see remnants of maybe maybe climbable, maybe not. It's pretty sheer. And we didn't grab our. Um, then you have flowing river here. Okay, so it is like that. Okay. And like then that. on the other side uh, is still a bit of a, a, a bit of a lift, and the water is kind of funneled between here. The river is flowing in that direction. Um, you can definitely see some like fallen trees kind of wedged amongst some rocks here. There's sure. a few rocks up um, here. It is rapid, almost rapid level. Geographically. Um, I relatively know where we are, probably. Yeah, you do. What's up with this river? Is it like a trade river? Is it just like a river no one cares about? Is it basically a moat? What, what are we looking at? Um, it is, um, it's a major river that, uh, if you remember our, uh, our game uh, way back, when you guys had to, when your other characters crossed the bridge. Uh-huh. Uh, so it's that same river, cutting between the kingdom. And so, uh, at this point, he's further south. I want a boat. I want a boat to come by. This character didn't cross the bridge. <laughs> so this is all water, and it's it's, it's almost like parts but of it, it are it's white. It's used water. as like trade or not? Because um, I kind of want to spend okay. uh, so a plot point on it. Uh, I actually got that covered. Save your plot point. Okay. You know enough. <laughs> you know enough. To save it. No, no, no. It's already happened. All you right. don't know it. Um, so Jumping onto river... a boat is the best that you can do in any adventure game. <laughs> I agree. So the river further north I'm is where that... I'm picturing, like, you know, Vin Diesel or somebody. Yeah, yeah you gotta. <laughs> so further north was Grab where Grab a sail. <laughs> so further north is where the, where the town was. Yeah. Uh, and then the fortress is a bit further south, uh, where you were uh, sure. fortress in prison. Yeah. Then the river kind of forks at this point, and on one side is the nice easy river. The other way is the rapids. Okay. Anyone who's any kind of like doesn't want to doesn't want to be noticed by the by the law would try their luck. With on, rapids. Uh, and that's actually where the nickname for this side of the river comes. It's called the Smuggler's Mountain. Right. Of course. Of course. Okay. So it's possible that there could be a, a, a boat. Uh -huh. Um. <coughs> Uh, okay, so you got some time because they're held up behind. What do you guys have? I mean, I wanted and to spend a plot point in the boat, but okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's probably about a good. It's it's between 50 and 40 feet, depending on if you could clamber down a little. 
uh, down to the water. Uh -huh. Definitely a heck of a drop. It just goes right into the water. Pretty much, it's. Uh, I mean, there might. If you really botch it, you might hit a rock on the way down. But you might need to. Are you making the goldfish? No. I'm sorry. I was. That would be. Very difficult awesome. as not a druid. Yeah. No, I was just. You said we're. Swan 50 dive? feet up? I'm well, well, thinking what about, what about cliff looking, jumping. Well, hold on. What about looking up? So you, you turn around and look up? Make a perception check for me. cliff jumping. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If, if it goes it far enough down into the water, if, if it's deep the enough, people are going to drown. Yeah, that's the thing. So we have people with us. If it was just oh, us, it right. would be super uh, easy, right? We just jump in. If we so start drowning. What's about, like, Mr. Yeah. Scaredy Pants? <laughs> uh, if you had to guess, it's 30 feet up maybe. You're a little closer to the top than you are to the bottom, mm. but it's still a 30 foot right. and it actually looks even less fine as the Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the boat show up, that is much of a jump because it's really tall. <laughs> um, as you're, I also want someone who's not Hen to know the captain because I don't think it's appropriate in my backstory. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's what I want to put the blood board on. <laughs> Do a perception check. Okay. Everybody. They're like a boat. Um, no, it's a 12. 12. The bag you're carrying. I'll, I'll give you this much. The bag you're carrying splits. Spilling the morning star, the weird chunk of magical wood. Ah, dang it. Ah, ah. And uh, whatever else was in the sack uh -huh. is now spilling. Dirty 20. Dirty 20? What languages do you speak again? Draconic, Elvish, Orc, and Cory. There's an Elvish room. As you look at it at end and you look down at the pile of stuff that just slips. And I'm just like, ah, man, I'm just like piling it back up. You're trying to pick arms. it all back up. I, I grab it. There's an Elvish room on the bottom of the wood block. Oh, I can see Elvish. Yeah, I mean, we all can speak Elvish. Okay. I hand him the. It's the, it's the Elvish room for. It's like a nautical term. With it's like it's got a flavor of nautical term. It's called safe passage. Is the direct translation, clumsy translation. Yeah. I'm like, wait. I rolled this, by the way. It's already That's on true. here. Sorry, I'm talking to the camera. Thanks, man. Sorry, sorry, dude. I'm <laughs> sorry, it totally startled you. Totally, like, dude. Yeah. But remember, <laughs> remember, this is a cursed magic item. Well done. Yes, that might not be the curse. I know. It's this the morning star. Um, something loosely. I'm going to flip it over and I look at it because I can read Elvish too. We yeah. all can. We all can. Um, it's a very common a language. It. Yeah. It, it is a magically enhanced room. You can tell that much. Anybody want to do an arcana check? Yeah, I will. I think I already made one earlier. And you did not yeah. roll very well. I did not, so I don't know if you're going to want me to roll I did thing. not do an arcana yeah. on this. I did an arcana on the scroll, <coughs> and I failed miserably. And there we are again. Yeah. That's a little... So I rolled relatively well. Check on it instead. Arcana it is. If you all are allowing me to roll again, That's then I did roll rather well. Okay. I, I would have done Okay. Uh, my intelligence is only plus one. Because I pointed it out. But I got one more from the Yeah, she pointed it out. So and give me your plot point. Sure, I'll, take, I'll give you the plot point. Yeah. It's a. Oh. 18. <laughs> it's a command word. Okay. And when you speak it in Elvish, something happens to this box. Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Save passage. But in Elvish. And it's but in Elvish. <laughs> the block starts. There's a click. Sorry. When I speak in Elvish, I'm French instead. Yeah. Save passage. The passage. <laughs> the box. That's how you know it's French. I mean, it's open. Elvish. It hinges on an invisible hidden hinge. Yeah. And folds yeah, like itself it. flat. Uh -huh. And then does it again. And does it again. And, and I eventually you have start to running throw out it. it. Yeah. And you're just like. <laughs> Everybody in! <laughs> uh, you are 50, 40 feet in the air. <laughs> Is it not oh getting God. to the point where it's, it's like starting a to get run out of space? Yeah, exactly. So I like, I'm like, everybody get in, and I like throw it and jump on to grab the side of it. Okay. 
I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's go. <laughs> How big is that? We're pirates now. I, I do not. How big am I? Uh, yeah. I'm like 200 I, pounds. I just what see do you mean? Down my... <laughs> you still have your rope. Oh I still my, have my rope. god. You've seen the. You've seen the art. <laughs> so I, I am rolled not this. 200 pounds. A floating boat. Yeah. A uh, holding boat. Uh, is a rare magical item. Picture. Blah blah blah. It's a 12 by 6 by oh, 6 yeah. a box. It weighs about four pounds. It does float. Can we open the store items inside? Oh, I was wrong about that. You speak a well, command sure, word. Well, sure, but we didn't open it yet. One command word uh, causes it to fold into a. Also, there were three versions of this. Nested. Uh, ten so foot. That's long. the relative size. Between us. Ten foot long, As four feet wide, two feet deep, uh, with a pair of oars. Aren't I adorable? Second, it makes it a 24 foot boat with uh, oars and a sail, and, uh, and then the final third command causes it to fall back. So would you like the bit? Would you We're like pirates the, now. Would you like the <laughs> navy, like the rowboat or the big boat? Big boat. All right, you are you are the now proud owner of a 24 foot long, eight foot wide, six foot deep. Has a deck, rowing seat, five sets of oars, a steering oar, an anchor. Oh, those are very odd dimensions, actually. Two hundred by eight? That seems sorry. Okay, no, twenty-four. Twenty-four by eight. Okay. Um, and it, it has a square mast, and you throw it first, and everybody's like, "What are you talking about? Jumping?" <laughs> Says and <laughs> jumps. as as it starts to unfold, it falls down. You see this thing go clunk, clunk, clunk against the rocks as it's flipping and yeah. on the way down. It's a magical item, though. So it is extremely resistant. I was picturing it as like getting like a like like before and it falls yeah. straight down. So and I grab the side of it. You leap with it. Yeah. You're on the ride. Everyone else is watching you. They're like, what? what? As you yeah, land, um, do me a favor. I was thinking there would be enough side for people to jump onto, but maybe I misinterpreted. No. But I'm doing I'm, I'm committing. No, no, no. It, Here's it's a die roll. Whatever you want that jumping. to mean. Nobody else is. Everyone else is like, what are you talking about? Whoa! And you're over the side. Sure, um, yeah. Actually, I'm going to get you to do a, uh, a percentile check. Oh, a percentile. Okay. Uh, let me get my D10. Uh, there they are. So let's see. This is the tens <laughs> column. This is the ones column, you I think. You probably want above it. Okay, I'll do that. Will you? 88. 88. It's... As you're going through, you're tumbling, you're tumbling, it hits the mast. Uh, actually, it hits on the way down, which luckily writes it. And yeah. it splashes. Everything pops into play. It's like the scene in the water roll. Everything and the last up. little Great. thing pops. And, <laughs> and it does take on a little bit of water sure. as it starts to write itself. And I'm not a um, boat bearer. I'm going to let you do an acrobatics check, too, because you're going to take some damage from the fall. I'm, not full So damage. I can't, like... Hold onto it on its way down and have that do anything because it's getting bigger as I'll give you advantage on your acrobatics. Uh, and it's acrobatics. I can't athletics my way through this, huh? Okay, that's nope, fine. Sorry. I think that is fair. Yeah. I mean, it I'll doesn't matter if you're like in the boat or out of the boat. That is a nine. You're still going to hit the bottom. That is 13, and I get more than a plus zero. So let me just look at that. <laughs> um, that could be a whole lot of stuff. So Dex is plus one, and I don't think I have acrobatics, so I get an additional plus one. Uh, so that is 15. Uh, falling damage is 2d6, right? Per 10 feet? Yeah. It's 1 per 10. One, it's okay. really, really weak in this edition, yeah. Okay. So, uh, because you're riding the boat down as yes, it unfolds, into water. I'm going to say that absorbs approximately half of the damage automatically. Great. And you succeeded, so you're going to take half of How the damage. How big does it get? Whatever. Like, if someone, theoretically, jumped yes. now from where <laughs> they are, asked, down to the the, the mass. The mass is, uh, I mean, it's they can climb down long. that the way. It's going to be slightly longer than the size of the boat. Well, great. It's Someone needs to be in the boat so it doesn't just ride right off. Though, foot so foot it's important mass. that I'm in the boat. Okay, no, that works. I need to somehow figure out how to make this boat not just take off, though. Okay, so yeah. I need a hold position, okay. which I don't know how to do that, but well, Ken you're does. You're dangling off the side of this. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, yeah. And as so you hit, yeah. Uh, hold on, let me roll the damage. So I'm rolling. Well, that's why I wasn't sure with acrobatics, right? Because I'm just holding on. And you're getting um, half of. You're getting a quarter. Oh, I feel like it's held open. I'm super not concerned. Watch it be like 40 damage. <laughs> no, it wasn't too bad, actually. So you ended up with oh, uh, D10 or D6? I'm sorry. D6. Okay. I mean, that's the way I remember yeah. being. I was Honestly, if you wanted to home rule falling damage, that would be totally within your right. I, I it always thought. In fit. Yeah, I always thought it was 2D6 per 10. Might have been in fourth, I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to do that because that's what I've always done. Sure. But that's fair because you're only taking half of this anyway. So that's uh, 13. You're taking a quarter of this. Sure. 
20, and last one. So 26 on the roll, so you're taking one quarter of that rounded down. Okay. So you take six damage on the impact. Mostly from like bashing, like blocking yeah. your head off. Yeah, that this. makes sense. Okay. Uh, you get rattled up a bit. Great. You, it splashes in and it lands right side up. Uh, and it is not going to move yet as it's like settling and turning. I'm just like yelling up like, all right, come on down. I'm going to, I'm going to find the, and I'm like running around trying to figure out how to make this like not move. There, there, there are ropes boats. and there are oars. Um, There's a, uh, uh, I'm going it, it to try to, does anyone have a sailor Everybody, <laughs> everyone is just staring agape at this like boat out of nowhere. Yeah, how, how tall is the, the mast? It's about 30 feet, but it would be... It's a moving target, it's not moving downstream fast yet. And yeah. how, so how far is the mast away? Jump. Um, it's probably... The intent is for it to be close enough, right? Yeah, That's you're about... Uh, at the lowest point, especially if the big guy kind of helps you get dangled from his arm, it would be 10 feet below. That's it? Yeah. You're only about 40 feet up at, at the lowest point. If, yeah. Oh! Yeah. You're only about 40 feet up, 40, 50 feet yeah. up. Okay, so, and between so 10 and 20 30 feet, feet near. Between 10 and 20 feet between the mast. Uh, uh, let's call it a good, let's call it 15, 15 feet. What's the difference? It's 15 okay. feet away. I, uh, I give one end of the feet. rope, so yeah. I give one end of the rope to the guy. Hold this, Misty Step. <laughs> okay. So where are you with Misty Step? I'm going to Misty Step to the mast. I'm going to hold on to it. Okay. All right. So you're like up here in not a... You appear like not on ground level, but then grab it as you show up. Yeah. I'll hit well, well, sure help the big guy. I guess there would be. Yeah, there yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like stuff to hold on. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna make you do an uh, athletic check to make sure you get your grass. Oh. I'm gonna help the big guy. Yeah. To secure the. <coughs> Nubisaur says a swear word in what you can only assume is. Uh, well, you speak a lot of languages. Yeah. Uh, he says an obscure swear word. It's halfling, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I do not speak and no halfling. Guys, speaks halfling. <laughs> no one guys know how to swear. I know. Halfling is the best language for us because nobody speaks it except for oh, other geez. halflings. <laughs> oh. Halfling and rogue. The only people who learn halfling. Like. Cool. I'm going to say um, you have a choice, sir. Yeah. You can get your grab or drop the rope. You can't do both. But if I drop the You mean rope, hold the rope. Yeah, like... He can't hold the rope and make the grab. Yeah, so He's you slip one. and you either can let go of the mask or you can let go of the rope. How much um, length of the rope is? Length. So he's just going to swing back into the mound if he holds yeah. on the rope? Or you can stay So he mask. failed is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you partially... Both of those are failed. That's not fall. a partial success. Well, not a I'm, not ha- I'm not making him fall. Okay. You know sure. what? It's, no, I'm not going to fall because... You're going to stay with him. You can just throw the rope to me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so the sure. rope goes yeah. dangling and flapping against the cliff. Yeah. You yeah. are still hanging on that thing and it's starting to spin away a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to right and say, caught. pull it up, throw the rope at me. All right. Uh, so you have the rope. Go ahead and make a... Uh, uh, just do an attack roll. You're trying to hit oh, him with the rope. You're an attack roll. Roll the rope with me. Dex or strength? Uh, or athletics. <laughs> it's your choice. Athletics or... Uh, either one. Dex or strength. It's a range. Sure. Yeah. I would let it. Uh, either. I mean... Strength, like my strength is better. Okay. Which is why my athletics is better. So... Yeah. Uh, are you counting that as cocked or no? Uh, Are you proficient in rope? Then that is a 19... 19 uh, is good enough. Three. Right in your hand. You loop it. Yeah. And the, uh, about three of the group, you and the big guy and, and you, are all holding the rope. I mean, and I kind of can't be, unfortunately. Oh, oh, right, you're on the boat. Sorry, well, I forgot. Unfortunately, the big guy and you. I'm trying to so figure out how this boat works. Now strength. do an athletics or strength. Yeah, do an athletics. And, and I'm going to give is gonna, myself... Guidance on sure, that. the big guy's gonna assist so you can take advantage of your career. Plus my Or you can give him advantage. You roll. You're a player. Uh well, glad I used my guidance. Uh that's a six sixteen. Um 19. This gets a little timey wimey because it does take an action to yeah. cast guidance. Yeah. So as you're like, 
just assist me. The big guy's like, um, um, hurry! <laughs> As it's starting to slip out of his grip. Yeah. And then you're like, okay! And you grab it just in time. He had to hold it himself for yeah. a wreck. Um, so the boat does slip away a little bit, but it's starting to kind of tilt a little because the mast is no longer moving. The boat wants to move with the current. Right. Uh, but it's it's okay. It's staying in place. So I'm going to say to the people, I'm guessing, our, I'm going to mind link to you and say, should I send them over the rope? There is yeah. more rope in your boat. Yeah, I'm scrambling and finding anything useful, so there whatever I happen to end up finding and pulling out, sure, I do so, but I'm mainly trying to just like... If you steer the boat, so it's not making sure it doesn't get away. Do some little steering stuff. Try things, and like spin it around. No, and I don't think I have any like reason to. I don't no, feel like that's a, a huge paladin thing, no, that's right? Fine. Like later when I get on a horse, I'm gonna be like, I don't know how to ride a horse. Yeah. Paladins ride on horses. Right. So I'm gonna make yeah. you do uh, an athletic. Uh, you're pretty athletic, so you get the basics of both. Sure. Uh, so I'm going to let you do an acrobatics or athletics check to control the boat. Actually, it's basically a dex, and you're not proficient. It's a, it's a non-proficient dex? Uh, yeah, let's call it dex. Okay. To, or strength. Dex or strength. I will roll strength. Okay. I don't know why that you're works, but I'll do it. And, well, you're just trying to heave it around. Yeah. That is a 13 total. Okay. okay. It's just a strength check. Plus my yeah, so you uh, jack the, of all trades. The steering or the back. I am a jack of all trades. I know everything about everything. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so you know enough that oh, if I push this way, it turns the opposite. So you actually get that part right. Yeah. And you pull back, and you manage to stop it from being directly uh, uh, sideways. I'm having a good time, guys. And that'll actually take a lot of control. You do, however, hear a thump thump as it bumps against this big uh, this rock around which this stuff is going. But it is effectively halted. Great. 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 And I'm like, uh, is there ropes? Throwing ropes out. Huh? Can you throw a rope at me? Another uh, rope. I'll do some rope tossing whenever sure. I have you time. You, 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 you yeah. assess the action right. economy you as you need. Um, so, so, so what I'm going to do is, um, <coughs> we have a tie-off. Yeah. The mast is now holding it. I can tie the next one and throw it up so that we can wrap it around somebody who's trying to climb down. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. In case they fall, yep. they're not going to just drop the drop. Right. right. Okay, yep. so go ahead. So and, I'll uh, tie off. Athletic the... check to get it up there. I'm going to actually, yeah, I'll tie off. I thought to myself, oh, when I planned this, I was like, I'm going to have like a couple of skill contests. This whole cool thing. First this one, bad throw. Actually, you're just like, catch yeah. this. <laughs> and you're like, oh crap, I didn't tie it then. <laughs> you just throw the whole loop. No, I would have yeah. tied it. Uh, actually, it worked out better this way. Uh, they got ca uh, oh, uh, someone else. somebody needs to catch the rope. You're holding. Uh, uh. Me and Big Guy are in the loop. Um, <coughs> that is a... Not good. That's going to bring it to a 13. The rope falls. Splash. Alright, down in. Pass me another rope. There are more ropes. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing I've ever done. Oh, yeah, that's, of course. Let's try this again. Okay. That's a pretty good No natural one. Much better. 18. Alright. 18, no problem. Uh, the officer catches that one. Uh, they look around for a way to tie it off. And, oh, well, wait, we're tying it to tying the Tying it to someone, they're going to ferry down. Yeah, and, and the big guy wraps it around him to kind of act as a counterweight. So now, so now they can climb down yeah. the rope, and if they fall, they're not just going to die. All right, everybody. Um, it is assisted, but because of the moving nature of everything it, and just nerves in general, it's gonna, it would be an advantage, but it's also a disadvantage, so it's going to be a straight roll. All right. So everybody do... Well, hold on, you got ropes. You can spend a while rigging that up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split the difference and say straight roll with a plus two. Okay. Whereas beforehand, it was straight roll. Can I balance three. it? Yeah. I'll go last. Okay. And I will give well, big everybody... Guy's go last. Okay, him and I will go last, but I can give guidance to everybody as they go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, I envision it like, you know, if you're going, uh... Uh, zip lining? Zip lining. It's, it, there's a period of time. Like, we gotta let them yeah. go, oh. and then throw the rope back. 
So I've got enough time yep. to. Yep. That's it's how more I'm of like a lower it and then pull it back up. You so, lower it, lower it, pull it back up. Yep. Yeah. So a D4 for everything. You, in the meantime, don't have to stay at the top of the mast. You can actually descend if you want to. Because you've tied it off. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they're lowering the into the boat, not off the mast. Because this rope is big. Yeah. Okay. Great. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Then I can Actually, go it's in. a bit more good. So then I can go yeah. and go Keep it right. Keep it right. Keep it right. Keep it right. Stabilize it. Stabilize it. So you grab an oar and try to keep it level. Yeah. So instead of giving us a plus, we'll just do dice and make it a D4 for each person. I'll still give the plus two because oh, okay. of all the all the plan. Okay. So you've got a, a D, D20 plus two, roll them three times each, please. I can do that. And they get the plus two. Oh, not 20. And, and a D4. And a D4. Uh, just for the sake of dice economy, can you roll... Eh, no, roll it each time. Oh, oh and you're doing the D4s. Oh, I gotta... So it's the D4s and plus two? Yep. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, okay. So I got a nat 20. Wow! Nice. 16 and a 16. Nice, nice. All passes. Uh, I got a... It's a tricky I haven't maneuver. added the... So, um, DC is fairly high. The D4, but I did add the plus two. So that is modified 20, modified 17, I don't need to say that, um, and 12. And then there's D4s on top of that. Uh, somebody roll a D4 for that 12. I can do that. That's plus 2 for 14. Alright, so I've got a 19 plus 3, they did real good. A 16 plus 2. 18. All right, no problem. And not so good for my third person. That's an 11. Oh, but I'm not adding any of the twos. Okay. So, so that's 13. Yeah, and so 24, 16, yeah. 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have two, roll, two low rolls up there. And 13. 13. Okay. All right, so, so I um, believe um, the net 20 cancels one of those. So it's again. It's the this time. It's actually the daughter. I was gonna say that who um, saves the day uh, for her mom. Ashton oh. and uh, oh, I like that way better. That's great. But I was gonna say that Ashton and Hannah are on the deck watching yeah. this happen, and like, yeah, let's catch these people who rolled too low. Um, um, between the two, but if there's you, uh, if one's being canceled, then only one needs to be caught or blah blah blah. So but, yeah. <laughs> between the two of you. Uh, so there's a, a moment where the, the tiefling mother slips yeah. and starts spinning on the rope and like uh, goes to hit the side, but the daughter like cries out and like somehow helps her mom and like ah! and stabilizes. It's late in tiefling magic. Just to know. <laughs> yeah. Thaumaturgy. Yep, that's yeah. right. Thaumaturgy. Somehow that helps. I don't the know. Doors fly open. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. And and like the gust and it moves the uh, rope. And yeah, so she manages <laughs> to not turf it into the lake, so she's okay. That's the natural twenty canceling yeah. that fails. Okay. However, right at the end, just before you and the big guy go down, I'm gonna do him separately. Um, oh, did we roll too many? Uh, no, but uh, okay, whatever. Uh, okay. It's fine. So there's one dude at the end who does get the full fail. Okay, but can we try to like catch them and stuff? Why wouldn't they? Like, no, they're not gonna drop to the bottom. They're high. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. Um, I'm looking at notes. <laughs> yeah, so it's dangle. Greg. Oh no. Oh, no. The gods hate Greg. Oh, that's the gods true. Yeah. Do so hate he's like Greg. new fellow does. <laughs> so he slips. And, and you just see him not even fall a good that 10 feet of drop, and then boom, as the rope catches him, and you're all like, oh, phew, and then not slips. And he's like, and just falls between the rock and the boat, splash beside the boat. So is there like, no time to react to that and do something? Can I it jump and catch them so in the air? <laughs> it happens too it fast. It happens so fast. Okay, just, no, I'll, I'll allow it. Mostly because you're like, oh, the rope caught him. Oh, no, it didn't. Right, and you just yeah. splash beside the boat, and, yep. and um, he's caught in the current and he's going down. Okay, but he's just in the water. Uh, yeah. He would have taken some Let's damage Let's go! From that. Jumping in! Okay. <laughs> all right, no. all right. <laughs> you think I think things through? He no! Makes, <laughs> he makes friends with Udiyos. <laughs> it's a true story. Diving into this water. Into these oh, rapid oh almost wild going. Maybe you're going to marry Greg. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's not Greg the, that the, I'm going to marry or kill. Star and Greg are different people. No, like, Hen and Greg. Hen and Greg and me and uh, Umasar or whatever his name is. Hi, do you want me to roll something? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and roll Greg's acrobatics. Greg's acrobatics? Oh, okay. No. A flat die is a five. Uh, you can add whatever you'd like to that. 
Because <laughs> you said it's Greg's, not mine. <laughs> I'll give him a plus two. Okay, wow. that's what mine would be. Wow. It's a seven. That's not great. Right? He, as he fell, uh -huh. and you've been intentionally keeping it kind of off Yeah, the yeah, side. it's probably really tight there. It's very tight. So what happens is the water, you hear splash, you see the, the uh, uh, spray of the water. Mm -hmm. And then as the current is pushing the boat, it starts going in and you just hear, you hear the boat hit the rocks and uh -huh. you're like, oh, there was something in there. Yeah. So can I go in? Uh, you're going to have to push uh, the I boat off the rocks. I can do that. That's okay. the thing I can do. Do not like to wow. push it off the rocks. As you, That's Greg, a 23. Greg was a human bumper. 23. 23. I push I, I, and I jump in. Other things happen. It is not comfortable, and that's on a calm day. Yeah. And I definitely do that thing where I like have the rope and I jump in with it. And I'm not. Okay. The other side's not tied to anything, but like it's only so many off, feet, so hopefully it's fine. Pushing off the rock, yeah. and you look down, and all you see is like red in the water. Yeah. So well, you I, jump I get in, in and you jump. You I jump, jump in. in. Yeah. You see him go, and you're like, ooh. Um, and there's more people on the on the water on the boat yeah. now. Yeah. And you dive in. Uh, make a perception check because the water is turned up. Perception, that is about that. nine. You, you're still up top, if I remember. Well, I've got a 60 foot reach on yeah. my um, control water, but you, you it can do that. specifically says a standing body of water. I, I would let you affect it. It might not be as slow it down or something. You yeah. can slow it down. I, would, I, I think that's it. By the way, where's, By the, way, where's the rope? Uh, which one? The rope that was? The, well, it, the knot untied, yeah. so there's still a rope. There is, and the big guy is still on the top. No, 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 no. Like and the, he's just sweating. There's a, there's a rope attached to the guy. He, oh, the he rope that he actually got to the end of that? Yeah, and, it and then the rope slipped and he Oh, and he just fell off the rope yeah. itself. No, the yeah. rope is still dangling. Uh, All right, cool. Right, um, so, so my perception's bad. It's a nine. Um, I'm feeling around. Yeah. I can find it's a body. Uh, feet. The water is moving pretty far. Um, you're gonna cast control water. I am. Okay. Okay. Mark off the slot. It's calm. What do you want to do with that water? I. You can, you can make it calm. <laughs> um, I am going to. What's the radius you can affect? Them? So, at this point, it's. A Visuals are done. up to 100 feet oh, out of battery. on a side. Okay. Wow. Okay. So you can control the whole river. Mm. Yeah. Right. You're just like... Yeah. And what do you want to do with it? I am going to... My idea is reverse. Okay. Pull back the, a lot of the flow. Right. So... It's obviously because it is a flowing river. It's not going to actually like in. Uh, yeah, you have to like just divert it, basically, yeah. right? But basically, yeah. it's gonna kind of stop it long enough. Hopefully, that somebody can help him. Absolutely. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say all. So we do redirect that, flow. You get advantage. I thought you were gonna say that. Well, let's uh, let's leave it to a d20. That was worse. That was cocked. You're too nice. That is a total of 15. 15. 15. He did wash, so if this was the boat. <laughs> sure, yeah. And he crunched him here. Yeah. He, was, he is about there. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a, a strong ten, swimmer. About 15 feet further yeah. down river, and he's a good 5 feet under. Great. He got crunched hard. Yeah, I did. Swim for it. Make an athletics check uh, with advantage. You're healing him this time, or do you have? Twenty-two. You got five. Uh, Twenty-two. 22. You get him no problem. It's enough to stabilize you, him, and whoa, then whoa, I whoa, power down. You got your rope to pull yourself back. I'll buy that. No problem. Yeah. I'll you drop some. Uh, pull back up. I'm gonna lay on hands. Uh, it is symbolic. Oh, like as soon as you get to him. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably wise. Because I could, I could cast cure wounds, but lay on hands is symbolic. So I'm gonna use lay on hands. <laughs> Uh, five points. My five points. <laughs> Here, here's where this matters. Which is what it can't had. be less than a two. I'll re-roll a two. It's a five. I'm gonna say. What are you talking about? No, no. Okay. Determining Greg's level. Oh, sure. Level. He might just be dead, and that's fine. If he's dead, if you want to kill him, you have the right as the GM. I'm, I'm letting you do like that. To leave it up to the dead. We've tried. To... <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I said it can't be under a two. Uh, uh, so ones and twos. I guess it's level two. That does not bode well. Great. 
Yeah. Somebody roll 2d10 for me. He might need some real medicine. 2d10. 2d10. I got a 10. Uh, I'll roll it. I've got one. I'm just going to give the listeners a little present here. So I rolled 27 on the damage. So if they roll too low, Greg is insta-dead if I'm remembering the rules correctly. You're correct. There's times I really hate being and hearing two. impaired. And I times I couldn't hear a word. Two. Well, that's the point. Okay. You're supposed so to not hear two. that. Two, and then roll it again? I did. Oh, oh. and you rolled the other one? Uh, two, so four. <laughs> uh, four more is eight. The corpse of Greg. Mm-hmm. He's been retreated. Okay, great. I, Anybody have revivify? It's less than a minute. And even if I did, I'm I'm tapped. I mean, the thing is about revivify. Um, oh, it takes. Is that none of the stones in that treasure thing were diamonds? Yeah. If we found a was it one thousand or is it five hundred? Whatever. Uh, if we if we, if we it's found five hundred GP. Is it? Raised dead oh, it's. The, oh, the point it's is greater that restoration. If, if is... we found the like diamond, one hundred percent, I would do one of those like in the moment. Yeah. This is the magical arcane secret that is imbued in your soul, right? Because I haven't. We yeah. hit level seven. I get a spell from I, any I spell list almost... I want, and that is an option that I considered, but I don't think I'm going to take it. I, this could mean platonically, but if you anybody want to spend a plot point, <laughs> it depends how much you want, Gregor. I I'm out. Say. I'm tapped for plot points, but that's fine. I think I it's. I think it is. A, I think it is great that he dies but... because death is cool and interesting. Um, you need it. I'm gonna say I'll spend a plot point, but it doesn't automatically work on somebody else. Uh, I and do. is so in the moment you pulled him up out of the water. You and you could mean it totally platonically or not. I'll I leave that up not, to you. Uh, like not. it's that moment of like the the life giving kiss. Like, oh sure, I 100% do CPR. Oh, 100%. I'll roll a medicine check. So, so, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're in the water still, though, right? We didn't no, get No, you actually, no, you, you, I, I, I will, I will. You tried laying hands, it didn't work. You pulled them ashore, but you buy those. So I see what he's done, I see what she's done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will spend a plot point, but I will also add that the fact that Hen is really yeah. developing feelings for Greg. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. See, very, very this is one of those things that D and D doesn't feelings. do. And so that so, song totally came in one of my your ass. pockets. In, I totally play games that have rules like that all the time. They're my favorite. I'm, I'm inserting yep. them into life. Yeah, right. you get this. But the will the but, like it's like so. Here's here's what Move. happens. That, all right. That amethyst. I got an 18 on my medicine check. To do CPR, that's a magic oh, this, is, this is more than just. CPR. Oh yeah, it's magic. This is magic, <laughs> and deep in one of your pockets, loving magic, where you'd yes. stuff that handful of stones covered in, in oh muck. Oh my and god, magic. I just got the wrong visual. One of those uh, at your plot point spent mm-hmm. a little flash of light, mm-hmm. uh-huh. almost as a as if a gift from uh, from uh, Ashton Gideon, from Pella. Oh, okay, uh, one of those stones just. Is a diamond. Okay, so I need to ask you a question. Do I need to cast Revivify, or is this just a cool magic thing happening? Because I don't have any spells left. left. (laughs) This is this is wait. I would get one new spell slot for leveling up, so I would have it. And there it is. There it is. is. Okay. Well, now I know what one of my one of my spells is Revivify, which is like kind of super a waste when we have a cleric in the party, but that's fine. I mean, so is everything I have, right? No. Everything's redundant. Revivify is... No, it's a good one to have, because, you know, the cleric might die. What if I die? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Um, All right, cool, Revivify. I got Revivify now. There's no breath, and you give one last... It's not even a a breath, it's a kiss. Yeah, Yeah. no, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is great. This is so good. The clouds open up, and this beam of light... From above, cast down upon the whole river. I want to see the picture. The of water that. piling All up, right, the I'll waves drive. just dropping to calmness within a hundred feet of the boat, uh, fifty feet on either side of the boat. Yeah. And mm-hmm. there's this momentary calm as Pelo looks down, <laughs> and Greg <laughs> gasps, <gasps> and he is fucked up, <laughs> <laughs> but he is alive. I think yeah. he's totally making. And up. I think. 
I that's think a that's great no dead on. That's really good. But I will say oh, yeah. one last thing. As I stare down on this and see the weaves of fate entwine around them, I will end it and say, at least he's not an idiot. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> and then we do a freeze frame ending and some credits roll. <laughs> and, and then you just hear Nubis will be like, Bloody hell. <laughs> I feel like I would just take Nubis or push. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're freeze framed at this point. Uh, it's you good. Push uh, uh, that's really good. I, thanks but I'm still up. That is a good like I'm end moment to jump ahead oh, in time. You yeah. know what, that, that whole revivify takes a little time. So if you want to just have so we can now. deal with it, let's, let's, so we don't forget next time we're all on the boat. Can you do an athletic check? Honestly, I see yes. this as a good with situation. Advantage. Unless uh, you want to give advantage to the big guy, it's up to you. I'm going to give advantage to the big guy, okay. so and I'm going to cast um, D4. D4 on you. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to call it D4. Oh, oh that ain't great. <laughs> I'm glad I gave but him But he, he is him. beefy, so he gets a plus six. So he's a, he just makes it. <laughs> he just Woo! makes it with a 15. That is very funny. Like, yeah, it's bad, but he gets I exactly what he needs as his plus. Why not? He, he grabs <laughs> that rope that's tied to the mast. The whole boat oh, rocks man. from his weight, and then he's come swinging I down got in. pirate style and barely lands. The knee, so the good. sore, buckles as he hits the deck. And he oh, yeah. Out, but he's Was okay. that an advantage to get He totally has to lose that leg, though. Uh, you right? Don't get like, he has to. I, okay, <laughs> so plus your... I rolled a 17. Plus athletics. Uh, that's... Uh, 21. 21 and the one from your guidance, yeah? Well, you only needed a 15. Uh, so you managed to... I got a nat 17. Yeah, so you managed to effectively grab the rope that's tied to the mast and, and just swing Tarzan. your ass down. I'm just Tarzan and, down. Now, it's only 20 feet, so you actually do have a 10 foot drop, but you make it no problem. Oh, I don't know. Mm. I'm cool with You that. land little ankle sore, but you're fine. Yeah. And everybody's on the deck of the ship as Greg pops back up. Okay. Thanks very much, everybody. Internet. We now have a pirate crew, sort of. Not really, but we basically do. So you're we, in the army now. Oh yeah, all these prisoners—they're just—they're they're part of our crew now. They have to be. I'm they don't get a choice. So we need a name for the guy we've been calling the big guy. He needs a name. He. I like that's gonna be Levi's guy. One hundred percent. Whatever. He, <laughs> Levi's yeah, he one hundred percent has up. to lose that leg and get a peg leg eventually. It'll be good. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't get a peg leg, but he gets like you know. Get a good uh, right. Long John Silver going on. Get him yeah, a crutch. You can give him his pirate name. Oh, sure. his pirate name, yeah. Um, obviously, Nubasar has a name. Thank you, Nubasar. Um, and we definitely need um, Tiefling Mom, Tiefling Daughter. I think those are all the, like, relevant people that don't have names. Uh, anyone else you want to throw at? Go ahead. I but guess uh, I need yeah. Names. yeah, yeah, yeah. All those people need names. I need a pirate. So, name our stuff. Hashtag NOS is uh, at our at SideQuest Live. Uh, all one word on Twitter, Instagram. The I places. will make art for all these characters, and we'll put those up as Instagram things, and you can put them as comments. And uh, this has been SideQuest Live. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit us up uh, in all the places. Name our stuff. And thanks very much for playing, guys. This is a lot of fun. And yeah. thanks very much for all the listeners, especially those dialing in from uh, Australia. We we love you guys, and we're thinking what? of you down there. We've got quite a uh, we've got a really? bit of a following down there. Uh, we've also got awesome. Texas is dialing in and bidding California. So thanks very much in Germany and so on. So uh, that's keep my up. friend Kat from Texas. Love you. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, that's why we're getting the, the Texas love. That's yeah. awesome. All right, so thanks very much for listening and uh we'll see you soon. You've been listening to SideQuest Live. Thanks so much for tuning in. We try to record all of our games as much as possible, whether that's Dungeons and Dragons or Shadowrun or another tabletop role-playing game. Just a quick side note about all the licenses and the copyrights involved. Our music is all Creative Commons attribution music on our live stream video feed or YouTube replay or Twitch VOD. We always attribute each individual artist, so be sure to check out those individual artist attributions. Lots of love to so many people who make their work available so that we can do what we do. So thank you. It influences our game. It makes it immeasurably better. So, so much appreciation for them. Let's not forget the makers of the games. Dungeons and Dragons is copywritten by Wizards of the Coast. They own it. They make it available to all of us to play, and it's wonderful. We are in no way affiliated with them, and nor do they endorse this podcast, but we are very appreciative. The other game we often play is Shadowrun, which is Catalyst Games, and again, we are not affiliated with them, and they do not endorse us, but we really appreciate their game, and we hope you appreciate our game. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Twitch, 
and YouTube, and watch for those live games once we're streaming them out. And of course, we do accept suggestions for names, so please hit us up on Instagram and name our stuff. All right, thanks so much. I'm Todd, and this has been SideQuest Live. We'll see you again soon.